Hi, friends, and welcome back to The Sesh. I am Kendall. And I am Janelle. Kendall's back. All four of us are here today, Crowley and Sydney. <laughs> Everyone, right. Charlie, we're all full house today, mm-hmm. people. Full house. Missed you guys so much. Did you? I did. I <laughs> you guys know I hate missing this. I know me too. It's so much fun. I get FOMO. I get FOMO too. Major FOMO. I feel sad. And it is more difficult sitting here alone. It is. Props to you. Thanks for covering for me, man. No worries, man. Really I got appreciate you. it. Really I really appreciate you. it. Yeah. A lot of you were saying like, oh, bring Carly or Sydney down on the table next time or whatever. But it's hard because like, how am I supposed to pick which one to do that? And you can't have both because then no one will run cameras. We could have a lottery. I was going to say, we can like rock, paper, scissors or something. We can like, we can, we can determine it. But no, honestly, it's, it's kind of hard though. Like yeah. we can't yeah. both be up there since one of us is, ha- has to run the camera. Right. And yeah. That doesn't work very well. So yeah, we'll have to think about that for the future. Yeah. But anyways, hope you all had a lovely past week and are enjoying the spring <laughs> oh i certainly am you certainly are yeah although you colorado fuck, is very, i was gonna say it's fucking like you never right know now. what you're gonna get these days here it's um, driving me crazy but it's warm today pissed. and it was warm yesterday so thank god yeah for that. i was able to get holly outside which by the way thank you all for your kind words and thoughts about holly um yeah it was honestly really scary like seeing your baby in the hospital she had to be hooked up to oxygen, had these stickers on her face. Yeah. And it was just, yeah. Poor girl. It was really hard. Um, she's but feeling she's, a lot better. yeah, she's feeling a lot better. And I'm really thankful for good medical care and that we took her in when we did because we yeah. weren't sure. The doctor, we kept, you know, calling our pediatrician and she said if her voice or if her, her voice, um, if her throat sounds like crackly, that's probably okay. But if she starts wheezing, that's when it, you know, becomes a concern. Like she's not getting enough air. So we were, as soon as we heard that, we were like, okay, we're going in. And it was Easter. So it was kind of a bummer. And it was her eight month birthday. Oh, I know. So we had like a fun day planned, but yeah, I'm just glad that she recovered really fast and she's doing great now. So yeah, again, thank you all. So I know your eyeshadow is looking fantastic. Oh, thank you. Like what the hell is on your eyelids right now? Patrick Ta. Is it just one color? Yeah. Well, it's like a matte shade with a little oh, glitter. It's on glitter top. galore right now. It looks mm. really good. I'm yeah, I was having super some fun into it. Earlier. I love Patrick Ta makeup. So good. Yeah, it is really good shit. It is. Anyway, how was your weekend? Anyways, let's count how many times we say that. Oh my God. It's Forever. our filler word. It really is. It's bad. It's really bad. And now that we pointed it out, I no, can't stop. I know. And I can't stop hearing and it. It's become like a joke now. Mm-hmm. My weekend was good. Um, Let's see. What did I do? I went and did some furniture shopping. Didn't buy anything, but just trying to like look around and see what the hell is going on for me to buy. Um, found a very good couch potential. So that's oh, good. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Very excited about that. I think we might have sold our other couch. John put it on Facebook Marketplace this morning. He told me there was like already a few people that reached out. So fingers crossed someone comes and buys it. And what else did I do? Um, just spring cleaning and trying to get rid of shit that i don't need nice i love throwing things out it's the best feeling i love it such a great feeling um yeah i could throw out like a ton of shit and i probably will it's gonna be amazing i'm trying to not have a million and a half things to carry yeah to my next house you know what i mean and then you're just moving junk junk everywhere Mm -hmm. and it's Mm -hmm. ridiculous so yeah i mean that was pretty much my week and weekend we went to dinner on Friday night. Oh, yeah. We had sushi dinner. That yep. was delicious. That's pretty really usual. Good. Yep. And um, Holly had some rice. Yeah. And then, and then threw, threw it up. up. <laughs> That's so funny. She like had like a spit up, but then it just was more yeah, coming than that. up. Yeah. <laughs> but it's so funny because like we kind of were laughing at this. Babies don't react no. to throwing up. Like if, she if adults, care. I almost said if humans, <laughs> if, <laughs> if adults throw up it's like a sad time it's embarrassing and like you don't feel great after usually mm-hmm. sometimes you feel better but usually no reaction it's not, from her but it was just like opened her mouth just like rice coming out into her little bib and then like was like anyways and then just was like kicking your little <laughs> and then feet one more yeah <laughs> yeah it's good <laughs> so cute yeah it was, oh, it was, it was just really a silly fun. girl but yeah that's pretty much all i did i didn't do a whole lot I'm just kind of chilled i had the most chill day on saturday it was so nice we were all so tired i don't know just from the week you know, everything. So yeah. 
Um, I was in bed pretty much all day. Hell yeah. I brought Holly's like little play thingy, her little activity center into our room. And then I took a nap and Josh kind of watched her. I slept until nine and then took a two hour nap during mm. the day during her nap. It was amazing. Oh, I, I did like napping. nothing and then went out to dinner that night. It was a good weekend. God, I love napping. Oh, and we watched, we finished that show Beef, Sydney. Sydney's oh, been, really? Yeah. I need to start it. If you guys haven't seen Beef, it is so good, which there is some drama with one of the actors in it. Or I think he's a comedian, David Cho. Dude's a fucking freak, man. Why? He, I mean, he was on this, they found this podcast clip of him from forever ago, like talking about raping someone. What? Just like openly talking, which it's like just shows you how much things have changed because that would have been... Wait, he li- openly was like, yeah, I raped someone? Yeah, and then now he's trying... I haven't been following it super closely, but he's trying to be like, oh, it was like a story I made up because I'm a comedian. It was like a joke. It was just... He is a dirtbag, man. Um, but he's a very small part of the show and it sucks because there's all these people that don't want to watch it now, but uh, Stephen Yen and Ali, Ali Wong's in it. I love Ali Wong. And they're performance was unreal it is so good it is so artistic and what's the premise of it it's basically these two strangers Allie and steven that have like a road rage incident after they're like at a costco or something and they like chase each other around and then it turns into this giant beef between the two of them that just spirals out of control is it a comedy it's a dark comedy okay like there is death in it okay but i think you could handle it it's not that bad (laughs) I'm such definitely, a child. No, I think you would like it. Okay. Um, hmm. but yeah, it's definitely funny. It's got some like intense themes to it, some serious topics, but it's just so well done. And they basically they beef back and forth, and it's just how it drags all these other people in their lives into their shit with them. And then, yeah, I how won't many give anything else away. There? Just one. Is that it? Yeah, I I think I've heard they're not even going to make another one because it ends in a way where you're like. Ah, I want to know more. It's, really? You haven't no. finished it? No, I, I haven't even started it. Oh, I thought you said you watched it. Okay. No, we're like we going to start it, but I really, it's something I really want to watch. Like, You've got to watch it. Tonight. It I've was been so good. We watched it in a week. We watched three episodes on Saturday night. We stayed up till almost one because we were like, we've got to know oh how God. this ends. Um, but yeah, they're like saying that if they do a season two, it probably won't even be about these characters because oh. they want their story to kind of just end. It's just... Interesting. Highly yes. recommend it. They're saying it's going to be the show of the year. Beef. It's the wow. talk on the town. Beef. beef. Yeah, beef. It's really right. good. Really good. I love Ali um, Wong. She's fucking hilarious. Yeah. Her she's stand up uh, Netflix specials kill me. Dude, she is so fucking she's hilarious. So and she's a funny. really good actress. There, She's in another. What's that one? Is it a movie or a show? Yeah, it's like maybe. Be My Maybe. Yeah. And it, that's a show, right? No, it's a movie. And I didn't see it. Did you? It's good. I like it. I mean, it's definitely mm-hmm. like more. It has like humor, but I think it's it's is, cute. And I mean, I would recommend it. It's like a there's like you know drama in it, but it's nothing too intense. It's like be my maybe. It's hmm, good. It's cute. It Holly Ali Wong it. was so good in this show. I mean, I was really impressed by her acting skills. I did not expect that from her, but <laughs> I don't know why I wouldn't. But I just never seen her act. Yeah. Yeah, it was very good. And then last night I was sad because did you guys hear about the Love is Blind drama? It was a yes, big old drama. I did hear about it. Mm-hmm. The, so why are they having it live? I don't know. It's kind of stupid. No one knows. It is stupid. Because it's not like you're, you know, live streaming or it like and talking to other people. No. Right, exactly. There's no. no interaction. Well, clearly that's a mistake on their part. Because So what hap- how long did it take? before it worked didn't work for me all night and then it was working for other people in colorado it's just kind of like luck of the draw of who gets to watch it so So, you didn't watch it no josh and i were sad we've been into love is blind it's just such a stupid show but it's entertaining it's so juicy i'm surprised you don't watch that i well i probably will start watching it after i finish selling sunset yeah oh yeah so and then there's like drama now on tiktok with all the people in it oh really oh yeah oh yeah it's juicy juicy yeah my for some reason, all my a lot of my TikToks like have to do with Love is Blind. I'm like, I don't know what's happening. I keep scrolling past. And I'm like, I don't know anything. And it's I don't want to be spoiled. It's such an entertaining show. And I've seen people on TikTok who are watching it with a blanket over their TV so that they can't see the people either. And they're surprised. <laughs> what? So, that yeah. sounds well, so just, just, boring. Well, you're just doing it for the first like two yeah, yeah. episodes while oh, they're right. in the pods. Oh. So that you don't make a judgment on them based on their appearance either. That's no, that's kind of, that's kind of smart. Yeah. I think it's cool. Yeah. I kind of want to try it next time like that. <clears throat> but When's the next ep- uh, season coming? Don't know. I don't know. Oh, 
um, they are filming. They are casting for the um the next season though right oh, now. Oh yeah, in Denver. In Denver, yeah. So they're casting. Oh, one of my friends it. applied for it. Oh really? really? Yeah. Hopefully she gets on. Do I know her? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you gotta tell me after. I will. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I wonder what it'd be like to be on fucking TV. I know. Me too. I Damn. would not be good. I would. I couldn't imagine. Having no control be, in the editing process. If you had to be on, uh, and not only that, but they also edit it poorly to make you look right. like a crazy ass. That's why like, I manipulate like, the hell footage. No. Uh, if you had to be on a reality TV show, what would you be on? Well, they're all like dating shows. Some of them are competition what about, shows. Like, Survivor. I would want to be on Queer Eye. I have a pretty shit sa- fashion sense, and I feel like those guys could help me out. Okay. Excellent. That'd be good. I wouldn't last on Survivor. I would be the first one to bitch out. I would, like, evict myself. Yeah, survivor, no. Yeah. What about Big Brother? No. <clears throat> Hell no. I have too much social anxiety to be around a bunch of strangers for 90 yeah. days. No. I wouldn't even last, like, two days. Well, I was going to say, you don't like silence. You have, a, like, some type of background I noise do. constantly. There is no background noise there to be had. I'd be losing my mind. <gasps> but I also don't want to talk that much. I, I couldn't do that shit. <laughs> and you can't nap. But you're not I would do Queer Eye. They, okay. The five can come help me out. Teach I've me heard that's cook. a great show. I need to watch that one, too. You haven't seen Queer no. Eye? No. Dude, I have not either. Love Queer Eye. That's such a great one to just throw on. Okay, so entertaining. Yeah, I've heard it's really great. Maybe I'll watch it tonight. You showed me that one. Yeah, it's a great. Yeah, it's the best. Easy show. It's so good. I love Jonathan Van Ness so much. Oh, I know who that is. Yeah, he's a cute chap. He's one of the five. Oh, there's. Oh, okay. I see. Mm -hmm. They each do something. So someone does fashion. Someone does like hair and uh, makeup. If I was told, it's like remember that old show, What Not to Wear. Oh, it's yeah. kind of like that TLC. but less shamey yeah they yeah. are like assholes to these people no they then. they're not like that they really it's always these really deserving people who Why have interesting stories eye? because they have the they're all queer and oh, they and have, they have the, like eye. the eye ah oh. yeah one of them has like lifestyle skills Got for it. them i think someone does like social and cooking like they like transform their life completely damn and they're normally people that are very likable okay so and it's definitely not shamey. Like, oh, you are a disgusting mess. Let's yeah, fix your life. Yeah, that's literally what, what Not to Wear was like. That, that show was so bad. Do, do you remember there was this show? I don't know what it was called, but they would literally put people in like a clear box in public and have people guess oh, yeah. how old they were. Yes. yes. I think that was What Not to Wear. Was it? I, yeah. I think yeah, that, no, yeah, it was. Yep. And then that was like at the end, like they would walk by and see what you were. Yeah. Like in the they beginning also, and then at the end. Yep. They also would make you get into like a room full of mirrors everywhere and like look oh. at you from every angle and be like, uh, see how this doesn't cinch this part. It doesn't it makes you look fat here? Or you like look sixty want, years old even yeah. though you're thirty. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they just would Fuck shame up. people. Yeah. This it's so bad. Up here, right? That thing. Yeah, that mirror room. Dude, yeah. there's also this other old show that I saw Cody Co reacting to. I had never seen it when it was on, but they literally would have people. It was called like Hot or Not, and they'd have people come up on a stage and a oh, bunch of I've, judges would yeah. say if they were hot or hot not. Or not. No, and there were people that were really good looking, and they'd be like, "No, no, ugly as fuck, get off yeah. the stage." Yeah, TV's come a long way. It's kind of crazy. Damn, Queer Eye's not like that. It's very positive, uplifting, cute experience. So, yeah. Anyway, beautiful. Sydney just got off a plane. Yeah, thanks for coming to the show. Yes, <laughs> and I'm glad I made it. Yeah, sunburned, but, yep. little tired, sunburned, hungover. Where were you? Um, I went to Austin this weekend for a bachelorette party. It was really fun. It was a blast. We uh, enjoyed some food and drinking on Friday and got on the boat Saturday, which was oh, so fun. That was probably my favorite just because we haven't had like 90 degree or like even 80 degree weather here. I yeah. guess we have like one day, but just be able to be on the water. Mm. It's fun and good getaway. And then I got to see my um, sister and dad too. So yeah. it's a win-win. You did awesome. packed a bunch into one weekend. I know. It was like sure literally two, three days. So. That's awesome. Your yeah. bachelorette's coming up, Sid. I know. It made me really excited. I'm like, it's going to be God. awesome. I can't wait. I cannot wait. It's going to be so fun. Yeah, I'm, I'm pumped. Yay. What about you, Corelli? What did you do this weekend? Um, Not too much. Um, I had a pretty chill a chill weekend for the most part. Um, On Saturday, I kind of just unpacked the rest of my apartment. I don't have any more boxes, thankfully. Damn, that was fast. Good I brought out. my couch, so I made my couch. Cool. Ooh. Um, and that was I mean, that was I mean, so it was just more low key. And then yesterday, um, we went me and um a, one of my friends went to 
my dad's um he my dad has like a little piece of land in like east colorado and we went there and just like you know looked at the landscape and Hmm. looked at the animals and it was nice good weather Um, for that it was yeah it was beautiful Mm -hmm. yesterday and then we stopped by manitou and got some fairy water oh yeah it was it was really good so it's natural carbonated water basically yeah so in it this is like what what is this like northeast spring i guess yeah colorado springs um there's this little town called manitou it's where the santa's village is uh, yeah and also the um incline. the incline yep mm-hmm. um and that's where manitous live <laughs> yep manatees <laughs> oh god i'm so dumb i thought i was gonna make a good dad joke <laughs> it wasn't even a joke <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing. Um, oh, I'm so stupid. But they have Anyways. like these. No, we don't say that anymore. Yeah, do not take it back. You're not stupid. I am such a goofball. Yeah, there that's great. Okay. That's appropriate. Okay, anyway. <laughs> it's naturally occurring mineral water. So it's carbonated. That's so cool. Um, I had no idea that it even existed. Yeah, and it's been like, a, these were dug like early 1900s, like late 1800s. Interesting. Um, and there's like, a, I think there's like seven or eight throughout the, um, throughout like the city and they're all like in different locations and all of them's connected to like a different water source. Um, so there's one that's like really high in iron. Ooh. The one that I'm drinking right now is, um, is this one was really high in potassium and calcium. Oh, um, cool. And like, they just have like, I mean, they're just, it's mineral water. So do you fill it up from like a spigot yourself or are you buying like bottles yeah. of it? Yeah, I'll post, I'll like, uh, I'll put a picture up like okay. what it looks like. Cool. Um, it, It's free water too. So I took my five gallon water jug thing and just filled that up. Nice. Um. So yeah. So, but no, like honestly, like I've been drinking this like the last couple of days. Feeling good. I feel like a fairy. Feeling <laughs> charged. Mm-hmm. Mineralized. And it, I mean, it does have a little bit of a taste. Definitely has yeah. a little aftertaste. Yeah. Janelle yeah, says does. she hated it. No, I didn't hate it. I'm I didn't kidding. love it either. I it don't like carbonated like... water, but it was cool. It's, yeah. Wait, so it's carbonated, <laughs> it just but you tasted weird after. Yeah. Sydney, you want to yes. try it? Let's yeah. have Sydney's reaction to I, this. I did put some lemon in it, so That's, yeah, it's probably it's better. Probably better now. Okay. What do you think? It's like oh. a little spicy. That is interesting. It's yeah. a little spicy, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's not bad. No, oh, it is spicy. That is like interesting. What, what's the it spice? Has lemon. <laughs> what's the spice? <laughs> <laughs> <It's> spicy <laughs> as in bubbly, but <laughs> uh, Manitou even does like water tours, like water tasting tours. Oh, um, yeah, and like you each, do that. Yeah, each each spring has its own taste. Cool. Their water tasting tour. I yes. want to do a staycation there at some point. Oh, it's Take beautiful. Take Holly to the Santa's Village thing. The Santa's yeah. Village like year round? Yep. Really? I used to go in the summer all the time. I don't know why. Really? Yep. I've never I even been. That. We gotta go. Oh Santa's my God, it's Village. the best. Holly there together. Oh yeah. It's sweet. I'm no. surprised you haven't been. You love Christmas. I know. My parents are evil, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> they never took me. No, it's a wild place. And they have this crazy haunted house that freaked me out for like years. But really? Yeah, it's probably jank as fuck. But mm. in my mind, it was scary at the time. Nice book. I literally ran out of it, like screaming. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the transformative <laughs> events of my childhood. Yeah, I was going to say, you'll never forget it. No, nope, I definitely won't. Spicy spring water. Manitou also has the um the little arcade, like the old school arcade. Oh, I cool. love Manitou. I, it's like one of my favorite places in Colorado. I need to go stay um, there for a weekend. Okay, so I looked up my the water springs and the one that I went to, um, they use it for making Manitou lemonade or Manitou mojitos. Oh, that would make hell. sense. Yeah, Manitou, Manitou. Yeah, it Manitou has a, mojito. Manitou. <laughs> God, that just in my stupid, I mean, my goofy little brain. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought my whole life, every time I heard Manitou, I was like, why is it called that when there's no fucking manatees? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Tell me hell, man. What the hell? I feel like whenever you're shopping for clothes or jewelry, you really have to sacrifice either quality or your wallet. I feel like it's really hard to find good quality pieces of clothing and jewelry that aren't super expensive. And it's always kind of a gamble if you're going to get something that's actually wearable when you buy something super cheap. Do that or save up a ton of money in order to afford a good quality piece. That is until Kendall and I elevated our closets with Quince. With Quince, we can get high quality, timeless pieces without paying the luxury price tag. Quince offers a range of must have items like 100% Mongolian cashmere sweaters for only 50 bucks. That's a deal. Yeah, no, that really is the deal because cashmere is not cheap. No. They have 100% European linen pants for 40 bucks. 
luxurious mulberry silk shirts at 60 bucks, and not to mention $50 Italian leather bags and 14 karat gold jewelry from $30. All of their pieces are 50 to 80% less than similar luxury brands. And because Quince creates timeless classic styles that won't go out of fashion, you'll have them in your closet forever. That's why I'm so excited that we've been introduced to Quince. I am really trying to invest in some quality pieces that are going to last me for a while Same. things that i can mix with other items you know just like some staples mm -hmm. because i have so many pieces that just fall apart in the wash stain easily either that or you like have some pieces but they're really really expensive so yeah. you feel like you don't even want to wear it because it's too nice to wear mm -hmm. this is literally the perfect medium yes um i'm wearing this really cute gold necklace that's a j um, for Janelle. And it's gold <laughs> vermeil, so it's very good quality. I feel like I can wear it every single day. I can shower in it, but I know that it's not going to turn my skin green or anything like that. So mm -hmm. I think it's a really, really nice piece for the price and very fair um, price for how high of quality you're getting. I agree. I got a nose ring and I'm so excited about it, which they sell just like a single stud so you could wear it in your ear or anywhere else. I don't think they even advertise it as a nose stud, but I thought it would be something fun. It's really It has really a cute. sapphire in it. And Love it. It feels so comfortable. And that's one thing, especially jewelry that you want to wear every single day like yeah. that because you're not going to change your nose ring all the time. No. You know what I mean? I have these leggings on that are so soft. They're the ultra soft performance pocket leggings. I feel like these things could easily be like a hundred bucks at other stores, but they were only like $44. Damn, and, really? Yeah. And they're, I mean, they are like Wait, let me feel really, really soft. Ooh. Really like soft. Like butter. Like butter. Really comfortable. And that's what's cool also about Quince is they have a huge variety of stuff. Home stuff, jewelry, yeah. clothing. Like Everything you can think of. Really, really great stuff. And what's even better is that Quince only works with factories that use safe, ethical, and responsible manufacturing practices and premium eco-friendly fabrics and finishes. So shop with Quince today and discover the affordable luxury you deserve. Right now, go to quince.com slash sesh to get free shipping and 365 day returns on your next order. That's quince.com slash sesh for free shipping, 365 day returns. Quince.com slash sesh. All right, oh, you guys ready spicy. to get into some spicy topics? Speaking of yeah. that. Spicy. Oh, speaking of spicy, also, I made this really good spicy margarita on my own yesterday. It was, that was so <laughs> random. I just wanted to tell everyone. Oh, congrats. You, <laughs> my spicy margarita. Yeah. It's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it was really easy if you ever want to make it. All you need is some juice. I had from Costco, lemonade, blackberry <laughs> juice, tequila. Um, I had no lime, so I used lemon. And then I used some Mike's Hot Honey and Ooh. shook it up really good. And it was like a spicy mark. It was bomb. Ooh. I might want to get home. Anyways. Hell yeah. We love that. Speaking okay. of spicy topics. Yes. Um, everything that we're going to be talking today about. <laughs> about today wow. has to do with transphobia which is absolutely rampant it's out of fucking control and i was just telling these guys before starting that it's it's starting to like really piss me off and make me an angry person yeah like every time i get on fucking twitter there is some homophobic transphobic fucking freak just ranting about this shit and i can't understand why people have no lives i just don't i just it I, makes me so mad I don't get why you care what other people are doing with their lives. It is the most bizarre thing to me that you care that much. And I it's know. the same people who are running around being mm -hmm. like, everyone, the government should stay out of my business, blah, yeah. blah. But I'm like, oh, but you're up everyone else's, else's yeah. asshole about what they're doing with their life. Yeah, it's not very consistent. It drives me fucking crazy. Um, the, the hypocrisy. Yeah, it's it's, it's insane. I, I don't really, I tend to fall as sort of a, in the almost libertarian mindset, not like fully political but just that everyone should be able to do what the fuck they want and i'm just so sick of people trying to control others and just spreading such vile hatred and it i don't know if it's twitter is the home of it but it seems to be the worst there as far as i'm seeing and it's other assholes hyping each other up and i think that it makes them think oh it's okay uh, thousands of other people agree with me so i can just spout my dumb mouth about <laughs> anything that comes to mind and just, oh my God, we're gonna be talking about um, Chris from Mr. Beast. Mm -hmm. And I had responded to someone's tweet that was just, ugh, evil. And I just couldn't hold him back. Sometimes I try to like not 
get involved in that shit. But yeah. sometimes you just get so mad. I just have to say something. I said something and I got attacked by all these like red pill dudes that were just, I mean, red every single dudes. one, they were all calling me fat, just saying that I was stupid. I should shut up and make a sandwich. Like just the <laughs> dumbest. There was like 50 of them. Like this is like out of control. You pe- And none of them have profile pictures. They're just a bunch of hate. Like, where is this hate coming from? Like, I feel... And it's so funny to me because I'm like, you guys are such fucking losers. Mm -hmm. Like, what are you doing with your life? Nothing. Nothing. Tweeting. Right. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, and they're the ones that have the biggest mouth. Yeah. It's, it's... I can't imagine being a trans person in this country or I guess anywhere in the world right now and feeling this constant hatred towards you. I don't know how you how you deal with that. I think you are all like so incredibly strong for being yourselves and coming out in a world where so many people just hate you for no reason. Right. When you're literally and, just literally just trying to be your most authentic self. Yeah. And not lie to yourself. None of us know like what that could be like. And yeah, I can't imagine what just living is like for you every day to face that, to see that everywhere you go. It's it's so out of control right now and and very honestly depressing. It makes me feel very sad. Yeah. Thinking I Josh and I were talking last night. It feels like maybe it's just in my mind that it's just getting louder and louder, but it, it feels like it's gotten worse in the last five years. Like since the totally. pandemic, the just v- hatred towards each other, like the political hatred. It's just it's yeah. so upsetting. And I don't know how I mean as a citizen. To have these representatives, you know, congressmen, senators speaking so vilely about your sexual choices, your, sorry, your sexuality, your, you know, what you do with your own fucking life and speaking about you in such a terrible way when they're supposed to represent you and protect you and you have no control over it. It's just, it's, it's so awful that I really can't imagine being in your shoes. No, it's horrific. I couldn't have said it better myself. There's like honestly not even words to no, say sometimes. I just don't even it's like it's mind just, blowing. It's bizarre to me that this day and age there's so much hate. Like you said, I do think it's gotten worse in a lot of ways. And one thing we were talking about earlier before we started recording is how we felt like, you know, before it was everyone was like hating gay people and like, yeah. you know, against gay marriage and gay rights and blah yeah. blah. And not that that's not an issue. It still needs to so much people need to grow so much more in that aspect as well mm-hmm. but, but i feel like, like turned their attention they've turned the attention to now trans rights and transgender people and you know hating them and trying to ban them and all these fucking laws and, and that trying are being, to paint them as these like pedophile evil people yeah. that are groomers and that children aren't safe around them and it's it's like so dangerous and all of you fucking idiots are gonna look so bad in 20 years from now right when we've come further because all the people that were against gay marriage you look back at them right. now and you're like really just really I mean, just human rights in general women's rights yeah i mean right okay, so when slavery was like yep. oh well you're on the wrong side of history on that and now you look like a fucking idiot anyone yeah. who was pro-slavery or pro segregate whatever it is or yeah like you said against women voting right <laughs> that wasn't that long ago right yeah it's nope. it's it's been really mind-blowing and and frustrating um and what's crazy too is that, like a lot of the representatives it's like it's like it's like the the pot calling the kettle black you know what i mean like they're saying like they're trying to say that you know trans people are this and that and it's like there's like actual evidence of of like uh, you being a fucking like child predator you right. know what i mean like yeah. and that's what's so fucking like insane to me is like you're spewing all this hate all this fucking hate but it's literally projecting like it's them projecting and yeah. it's it's like it's ins- it's it's crazy to me that like so many of us do feel the same way, you know, protect trans kids, protect trans people to protect, you know, people in general. But like. How like how is it that like these representatives are so in power, you know what I mean? Like it gets me so angry because yeah. it's like. A lot of us, do, you know, like I said, a lot of us feel that's, you know, that mm-hmm. obviously we, you know, people should people need rights. People have rights. But the people who are representing us aren't representing us. No. And it's, yeah, it's, it's very interesting. Like you are literally voted in to represent the majority of this country. And when the majority of this country feels a certain way, and yet you're still signing laws 
that go against what the majority of this country stands for, mm-hmm. then you're not working for the people. No. What? Well, is that a shock to any of us? No. no. Politicians on both sides are not working for any of us. They're working for the fucking checks. For the donors, they're going to say whatever they want to keep getting elected and to keep getting paid. And it's it's just so... God, I could just go on and on. The, yeah. I feel so hopeless about politics in this country right now and representation and just... I don't even know. I mean, the fact that Donald Trump is being indicted for felony crimes and yet he raised like $4 million in two days. Yeah. That fact that his popularity is going up. Mm-hmm. It's just, it's like a no, perfect the, the example. Circus continues. Right. It just blows my fucking mind. It, it really does. And so anyways, that's like Kendall said, um, a big part of what we're going to be talking about today, really. Yeah. I mean, the main part. Two um, big stories. Um, yeah. That, it's been a prime conversation in the past week. One, we're going to be talking about the Budweiser drama. <laughs> Shows how fucking stupid this country is. This country is, is filled with morons. Um, and all the stuff with Dylan Mulvaney and... Mulvaney. Sorry, sorry. Mulvaney. Yeah, it's... Uh... And then, yeah, we're going to be talking about uh, Chris for Mr. Beast as well, mm-hmm. which is something we've definitely wanted to touch on. Yeah, absolutely. Been, yeah, I just, I don't know. I thought we were further. I thought we were fucking further. Apparently we're not. No, I don't think so. It seems like in the past maybe six years or so, there I always thought like there were bad people, obviously, that have horrible views, but mm-hmm. there was a, not that many of them. But it seems like all of a sudden now those people have come out of the woodwork and are like They're expressing empowering each other. their horrific views everywhere. And yeah, now people who had those views but maybe were quietly saying that to themselves and not publicly spewing hate now think it's like fine to publicly spew hate which just blows my mind that there are still so many fucking people that have these horrific opinions and these hateful ways of living and now they're just they don't care they're they like pump yeah, each other up i'll i'll express my terrible view like no worries mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. anyways um to start things off though if you are kind of confused about really what's going on with the whole budweiser <laughs> thing because let me fill you in. It's stupid beyond words. <laughs> like, it is unbelievably dumb. And just, we're really at this point, yeah, guys. Is basically. this, this kind of like on par with like the uh, the green, the green M&M? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it falls into that yeah, realm into of that just realm. like things that don't matter that right. people seem to care a lot yeah, about. Right. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, there's been drama over the Mario movie. Why? <laughs> I don't know. People are debating whether it's too woke or not woke enough. Uh, and it's just the... Does it make money because it's woke? And it's just, ah, the echo chamber of idiocy. I can't even handle it. It's so stupid. It's a fucking kids movie. Oh, my God. So let me fill you in here. On April 1st, influencer Dylan Mulvaney, who we have talked about before, Mm -hmm. um, she's a trans influencer, did a partnered post on Instagram promoting Bud Light's Easy Carry Contest. And this contest is basically where people show how many cans they are able to carry at once for a chance to win $15,000. Uh, we can watch her video here, kind of get an idea. Impressive carrying skills, right? I got some Bud Lights for us. So I kept hearing about this thing called March Madness, and I thought we were all just having a hectic month, but it turns out it has something to do with sports. And I'm not sure exactly which sport, but either way, it's a cause to celebrate. This month, I celebrated my day 365 of womanhood, and Bud Light sent me possibly the best gift ever, a can with my face on it. Check out my Instagram story to see how you can enjoy March Madness with Bud Light and maybe win some money, too. Love ya! So, obviously, it doesn't seem like a big deal at all. It's a sponsored post. You see it all the time, every day, but apparently when a trans person does it, it's a big fucking issue. And people wigged the hell out over this can which is literally just for Dylan. Yeah. They just made one can for her. The shit storm that this has caused. Unreal. It's it's crazy. So <laughs> let's look at April 3rd, Kid Rock. Oh, no. Oh, kid. He went live <laughs> this or he went on Instagram so and posted this video. Let's check that out. <sighs> Grandpa's feeling a little frisky today. Ew. That's so creepy. Yeah, <laughs> say something to all you and be as clear and concise as possible. Oh, so tough. With my big gun shooting my little girl. Oh. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> Yeehaw. What a statement. 
He shot some beer. Fuck Bud Light. Fuck, fuck Anheuser Busch. Ew, hell oh. yeah. Oh That's my right, god, baby. Dude, get a light. Man, that is the dumbest thing on the celeb, though. Ted Nugent. Mm, Teddy. All spook, spoke out on Newsmax. <laughs> Let's watch a little clip ski of him. This is great. No, Motor City Madman. What are your thoughts on what's going on with these, with these leftists? <laughs> well, I'm already performing the ultimate <laughs> Secretary of Defense uh, responsibility. I defend against stupid and evil. And uh, I think I might have trained kids. <laughs> He's Robert got something on his chin. Nothing says I love you like a fully automatic <laughs> MP5 and 9 millimeter <laughs> blasting about 600 rounds per minute. I, You know, class three is the story of my life. You know, Eric, the beauty of my life, there's so many things, is that I've never spent one red cent on alcohol, but I made sure that my entire crew and my family will never allow any Anheuser Bush products anywhere That's near right, my baby. world. How could they be that disrespectful to make one and can. Give the middle finger to their core <laughs> consumer demographic can they possibly have a meeting around a table and come to the conclusion that they're going to piss in the face of the people that pay their salaries this is the epitome what of a cultural are you deprivation talking about bro? and an ongoing tsunami of cultural deprivation but i get a kick out of it because good people are still standing our ground and believe me when i tell you i just wrapped up a wonderful <laughs> This is kick a brunch I have every week with farmers and ranchers and cops and teachers and hardware store operators and, <laughs> and energy barons and guitar players and music people. And we stand with Kid Rock's statement Hell that yeah. if that corporation, if that industry can be that out of touch and disrespectful to their consumer <laughs> base, then, like Kid Rock said, have a nice day, dirtbags. Okay, they will. All the way to the bank, you fucking dumbass. <laughs> It's What's, amazing that these people are so mad about this, but they don't have an ounce of anger about the fact that there have been more mass shootings than days in 2023. Literally. The fact that our planet is on fire, that we're on the brink of World War Three. None of that is important to talk about, but they've got a rage about a evil. Bud Light can. Evil. Disrespect evil and, and evil. stupid. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's like, you guys seem to follow what's going on in the trans community more than trans people do. Like, why are you all why so are you fucking so obsessed? obsessed? Like, it's creepy as fuck. It's so creepy. The fact that they're signing laws about how they're able to, like, check. And I, I, I'm not 100% educated on this exact law, but I know the premise is that you're allowed to basically check. Yeah, if you assume. Yeah, if you suspect that someone is not their biological sex like playing you know if a biological a male this is a whatever bill. right yeah. is playing in the female soccer team or whatever it is that you can literally ask for proof to see to make sure that they have the sexual genitals that they're supposed to have quote supposed to have to represent that quote gender yep. what oh but then what trans people are the creeps yeah right okay Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, you great. guys are a bunch of fucking weirdos is what it is going on the news to rant about this wasting your bullets on beer cans. <laughs> so stupid. I saw a video of a guy driving his truck over it. And I've seen people like dumping their, oh, their I cans. Have a, I made a little compilation oh, here. Yes. Wait, wonderful. Yes. Would love to watch it. Should we check that out yes. now? Let's Hold on. Watch. I have a question real quick. Sure. So are they buying these cans? Yeah, they bought yeah. them. Oh, perfect. Okay. And now they're like, and then they're just like, show. they're just not drinking they, that or they're just stockpiling Budweiser. Well, which, I, think I don't know they which like one is sadder. They bought them because they probably are, you know, customers of the brand or whatever. And then now that they have it, they're destroying it. They're, which is I, hilarious guys, and, yeah let's, beautiful little let's watch this great work janelle thank you some of them don't have sound because there's music but nevertheless we need to watch it's a gold mine of content i don't think words are really necessary about what's happening right now but for anheuser-busch bud light all bud product if you know me you know how many of these get refilled in my fridge every week <laughs> oh my god <laughs> they're done because hey, of you that fridge was their main down, income <laughs> Of course, be my choice. All right, baby. Hope you're proud, but like, yeah. hope it pays off for you. This is such a great but saying. When you go woke, go broke. Hell yeah, brother. Go woke, go <laughs> <Cheers>. broke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> you go broke. A good one, babe.
You guys really think you're doing something. Fuck you. But I here's a video of some dude pouring out a bunch of bottles in the snow. Amazing. <laughs> Fuck you. But I some people running over cans with their car. When their car is probably <laughs> participated in a pride campaign. <laughs> I never thought this was going to Now, look. <laughs> garbage. Ew, why, dude? I can't imagine being this so much money of your own that you're wasting. Why do you have so much beer? <laughs> Using the tractors? That's I'm sure that's really great for your crop. Oh yeah, this guy has a steamroller running over like thousands of cases of bottles. <laughs> what? Why does? Why do they have so much? Literally, why do they have so much of it? <sighs> Because they probably did buy a lot of it for the show of it all. Which is like, which is funny because you're mm, you're <laughs> literally paying them, you big fucking fools. Pretty much most beer brands have participated in a pride yeah. campaign at some point. And a lot of these people just don't seem to understand that because a lot of them are like, oh, I'm switching to Coors. Okay. Coors has done this. Yes, they have. Also, um, not only are people mad at Bud Light, but they're also mad at Nike, who has recently collaborated with Dylan. They're also met at Jack Daniels because back in 2021, Cancel which everyone. is like literally almost two years ago, and now they're all pissy about it. Uh, the brand <laughs> Jack Daniels teamed up with three drag queens from RuPaul's Drag Race and created a handful of videos called Drag Queen Summer Glam, um, which were released during Pride Month. And it features the participants like completing different challenges around the company's distillery in Tennessee. And even though that happened almost two years ago, everyone's fucking pissed at Jack Daniels. I saw videos of people like, Throwing their Jack Daniels away and you that's know, expensive. Uh, lighting Nike on fire. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's also expensive. Yeah. So, th- what do you think you're doing? Because the more you do that, the more other people are going to buy those brands specifically because of these campaigns. Like, you don't understand how this works. It doesn't fucking matter to them. It doesn't matter. If anything, it's helping them because it's just bringing more attention to them. Yeah. Um, Anheuser-Busch came out like right after this whole thing blew up and it was basically like they work with hundreds of influencers across our brands as one of the many ways to authentically connect with audiences across various demographics. From time to time, we produce unique commemorative cans for fans and for brand influencers like Dylan. This can was a gift to celebrate a personal milestone is not for general sale. Did people not really get that? I don't know. They really thought they were selling that all the cans in the world were going to have Dylan on it. Right. It's like one off collab. Why do you care? Right. It is so <laughs> weird. This um, TikTok, I a little bit further down. So like Kendall was saying, obviously, there's brands have been doing this for years and years, especially Coors. And that was like one of the big things. It was like, we're switching to Coors. And then it's like, it's <laughs> when so- you switch to Coors yeah, and realize. Uh, yeah, this is the TikTok I found. This just made me laugh so hard. When you switch to Coors and realize they've been doing it for years. Yep, that's right. See, you didn't even notice. You weren't paying attention. But guess what? They've all been doing it. Yeah. So get over it. Grow up. Shut up. Drink up. And just enjoy the damn beer. (laughs) The anger is just people don't know what to do with themselves. And any little thing sets them off, triggers them off beyond belief. Yeah. Sorry, I can't even speak. This is so dumb. <laughs> I just can't imagine wasting your time and your bullets <clears throat> because on your beer can. I feel like their weird. brains can't like comprehend the real issues at hand, like yeah, global warming, and well, they mm-hmm. don't believe in that. No, like it's all tied together. Yeah, no, it's it's well, the reality it, yeah. that everything is changing, and they're mm. scared, and they don't know how to handle it. Right. They they've never been exposed to people that are different than them which is so sad it's so sad makes the world actually interesting and good yes learning about other people who are different than what how you live your life like if you guys happen to have someone who is trans in your family or a longtime friend transition maybe you'd have a better understanding for it if you didn't just see these people on the internet and just paint this image of who they are and right paint all these ideas that they're all mentally ill right maybe you would actually understand like step out of your your comfort zone for a second and be open to learning about how other people live. I mean, it's not just about you. Nope. Too scary. No, exactly. They're, they're scared. That's This is all coming out of fear. For sure. Yeah. Fear of the unknown. What mm-hmm. people don't know, they fear. Yep. But too bad. You either fucking get with 
society or you're going to be on the wrong side of history real fast, you big dummies. No, they are on the wrong side of history for sure. At one point, I think it was like right after um, Dylan posted that video, um, Bud Light shares had lost more than $5 billion in market cap since, yeah, it first began April 1st. However, I was watching some different videos and stuff and it started going up and people believe that this dip won't really last very long. It won't really have much of an impact. No. And also they're like boycott Bud Light, but history has shown that boycotts like don't even really work. Like people Mm -hmm. don't really stick with them long enough to actually make an impact. No. Um, All those people are boycotting Starbucks. How long did it take them to get back in the Starbucks drive through? Right. Exactly. (laughs) Yeah. But what's actually really fucking sad and scary is that there have been numerous bomb threats to various Budweiser factories. Yep. Which is just fucking great. For example, one in Los Angeles on the 13th, some uh, police had to respond to a bomb threat towards Budweiser's Van Ness factory in LA. Van Ness. Van Ness, sorry. Thank you. Also, there was one in Missouri. They received a bomb threat. So this has caused so much backlash that Budweiser had to come out with a statement that was kind of fucking weird, not going to lie. It seemed like it was an apology without really being like, yeah. sorry. Yeah, they're like, how can we not upset either side, side. of this? Right. Yeah, it was pretty weak. Yeah, it's a little interesting. Well, it's like, is Budweiser the groundbreaking trans rights? I mean, they no. do this for a reason. Yeah. They're trying to make money at the end of the day. Yeah, I don't think they're over here like really... You know, their passion isn't trans rights, I'm sure. Maybe it is. That'd be great. But I think a lot of them are just doing it Mm -hmm. to, A, if you think about it, who's buying Bud Light? Most of the time, it's not young millennials, Gen Z. It's older people. So I think they're trying to be like, okay, how can we get the younger crowd to buy our shit? Mm Mm-hmm. Okay, a piece upset of them. the oldies. Right. Well, too bad you upset the oldies. <laughs> I mean, like, mo- like most people who are older drink Bud Light. So th- I think they're hoping like, okay, well, maybe young people will go out and buy it now. I don't know. I have no interest in buying Bud Light because I just think it's gross. It's but disgusting. It tastes like piss, in my mm, opinion. I agree. So, I mean, who knows if it actually really made an impact or not, but... I mean, it did make an impact. I just don't know if it was yeah. a good impact. Same is kind of long and frankly not that interesting. So I'll read a little piece of it. But it says, uh, we never intended to be part of a discussion that divides people. We are in the business of bringing people together over our beer. <laughs> this is actually by this, money. the CEO. Whatever his fucking name is. I don't even know his name. Mm. He says, my time serving this country taught me the importance of accountability and the values upon which America was founded. Freedom, hard work, and respect for one another. As CEO of Anheuser-Busch, I am focused on building and protecting a remarkable history and heritage. I care deeply about this country, this company, our brands, and our partners. I spend much of my time traveling across America, listening to and learning from our customers, distributors, and others. Moving forward, I will continue to work tirelessly to bring great beers to consumers across our nation. So they basically were like, yeah, it's awkward that this happened. Um, (laughs) Yeah. Sorry, but also not really that sorry. But what's interesting, too, is the amount of false information that goes around the internet that now people... because. Dylan Mulvaney gets so much hate. Yeah. And I don't even think it's just because she's trans. Mm-hmm. It's also just, I think, because so much misinformation has come out. Like this, for example, there was this time where people thought that Tampax, the tampon brand, sponsored Dylan. And people were really pissed off because she does not have her uterus. And therefore, she does not use tampons herself. And so they were like, how are you going to you know, sponsor someone who can't even use your product? Blah, blah, blah. But this is not even true. Tampax literally confirmed on Twitter that they have no sponsorship agreement with Dylan um, and never have. And as it turns out, Dylan says that one time she was in a public bathroom and one woman was asking this other woman if they had any tampons. And Dylan then decided that she would carry around tampons to give women in, you know, in case that they ever needed them, in case she was ever in a situation where someone needed tampons. Because that happens so often as so a woman. Often. Like someone will ask oh, you yeah. for a tampon all the time. Right. So why wouldn't you want to have them? And I think that's like, Great. Yeah. What's wrong with that? Why do you care? Right. Yeah. Well, Tampax sent her a box of tampons once for this reason. It was like you could hand them out. And of course, everyone fucking lost their shit on it. <laughs> God, get a life, Americans. It's a free country. Anyone can buy tampons and carry them. <laughs> yeah. Like, why is this right. a discussion? It's so dumb. Right. It's just too stupid to even comprehend. So, Budweiser, 
Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, it'll be interesting. The whole brand will tank after this. Right. Budweiser's done. Yeah, they're done. Did you hear they're closing down? <laughs> because all those fucks uh, decided to shoot their no hands, one run cares. it over, throw it out. It's a problem when celebrities like that are doing crazy shit like that because obviously people look up to celebrities yeah. and value their a- opinions. And it's such an issue with with Dylan versus like Gigi Gorgeous, for example. Yeah. I, I don't remember all the. Of course, she probably did face hate. Right. But I think things have gotten worse. Totally. I think things have really gotten worse. Well, and I think a big difference is that there have always been transgender yeah. people, but most of the time, sadly in history, they have not had opportunities like this. They have not had the respect of you know the opportunity to be able to be seen of like, yo, we're fighting for our rights here. Most of the time they're in hiding. They're scared. Mm -hmm. They're, it's not okay to like come out and be truthful about who you are. And so therefore I think that it wasn't as prevalent Mm -hmm. in the news and in media as it is now. And now that people, which is great, that's so brave of them are actually coming out and being, you know, no, I am trans and this is my life and I'm going to speak on it is unfortunately putting a target on their back because before they were kind of like hiding and didn't feel safe enough to come out and talk about it publicly Mm -hmm. but that's what we see in history is people have to kind of go through the mud and go through all that backlash to get to the other side and eventually i have faith that we will get there same um but yeah it's just like mind-blowing how how prevalent it has become recently yeah and how this conversation around oh, this, it's a mental illness that's spreading. That it's like the woke virus that people are just turning trans. I saw some fucking idiot on TikTok talking about how it's because women are pissing birth control into our water supply. And so there's estrogen in our water and that's making people more gay. Wait, women are pissing? Oh, like when they're peeing in the toilet? Because if you're on birth control, then you're peeing estrogen out. That that is making us all gay. Shut up. That is insane. Swear to God, dude. It's a real clip. This isn't like I'll from find the it, onion. We can insert it. No, it's real. I will find it and we will insert it. What happens when you put 100 million women on birth control and they urinate all the birth control hormones and estrogen into the water? And then the power plants and the filtration plants and the plants that process and treat the water are known not to treat estrogen or home hormones whether it's testosterone or estrogen or whatever all these hormones are. So I think there's a big conspiracy as to why people are becoming extremely effeminate. It might have to do with the water supply. That is real. And it's not, it's absolutely not true. It makes no sense. (laughs) But that's the kind of narrative that's going around (laughs) that like trans people are just coming out of the the woodwork because or it's like a fun thing to do yeah it's a trendy thing no dude it's a virus finally feel safe enough it's the same it's the same argument that people had about gay people for a long time there's just more and more gay people i said no they've always been there but they've been afraid of you right and now they're not and you don't like it right and you don't know what to do with yourself because you're a bitch and you're scared (laughs) i don't know what else to tell you like get over it right they're so afraid of it disease meanwhile kids are disease quote unquote meanwhile there was a fucking epidemic pandemic and there's an epidemic going on right now people getting shot up in fucking schools yeah now you're worried about safety and everywhere Everywhere. right right not just school sorry everywhere it's just like oh my god just i feel very angry lately i feel very angry i I almost feel like i need therapy to talk about all this because i get so worked up and then it makes me in a bad mood like yesterday, I started my day on Twitter and I shouldn't have done it because I started getting into all these little threads, just reading these fucking vile people talking and I just get so mad that I'm like snapping at Josh and just feeling like edgy. And I'm like, why am I like this? And I remember it's because I started my day on Twitter. <laughs> I need to get off. <laughs> just It's like impossible to avoid this horrible. shit though. It's like everywhere. It is. It is. Like I cannot believe how big the trans discussion has become, the, tr- the hatred around trans right. people. It's like, Oh, these people are such losers. Have you ever wondered why laundry detergent has to come in these massive plastic jugs? No one wants to deal with them. And 91% of those inconvenient, awkward, heavy jugs end up in landfills and oceans, harming our planet and marine life. There has got to be a better way. And it's not like you can just stop doing laundry. So... 
do what we did, switch to Earth Breeze. Janelle and I are both so into Earth Breeze. Totally. I love that they're sponsoring us. I think they're a fantastic brand, and I cannot believe how well this product works. I mean, these things look like little dryer sheets. It's true. And they dissolve as detergent in your laundry. You just toss one in. You don't have to measure. Nope. It's so convenient. It takes up like no space. I mean, the whole yes. packet itself is like a centimeter thick. I know. It's it, amazing. You can really save some space in your cleaning cabinet or laundry cabinet, whatever you use to store all that stuff. Just so impressed at how well they work. Like for these little sheets, they really have some power to mm -hmm. them. And they smell really good. Oh, also, John has very sensitive skin. He's like allergic to everything in the world. And he is that dude. Yeah. Oh my God. Poor dude. And they are hypoallergenic and dermatologist tested, which is such a plus. They don't irritate his skin at all. Yep. Like it's a one-stop shop. And what's really cool is their packaging is also biodegradable. So once you've used all your strips, then you can actually go and put it in a compost and it will biodegrade. Mm -hmm. Earth Breeze is compatible with high efficiency washers, gray water systems, and is septic safe as well. They offer flexible subscriptions that can be adjusted, paused, or canceled by you at any time. There's no contracts or fees, and they're delivered right to your door via free carbon neutral shipping at a frequency that works for your unique lifestyle. But most importantly, like we said, you get a powerful clean. Earth Breeze is tough on stains, fights odors, and your clothes come out clean every time. But don't just take our word for it. You gotta try it yourself. You can try it with their risk-free 100% satisfaction guarantee. And if you don't like it, Earth Breeze will give you a full refund, no questions asked, and no return necessary. Now, that is how you know a brand is confident in their product. So switch from the old-fashioned goo to something new. Right now, our listeners can subscribe to Earth Breeze and save 40%. Just go to earthbreeze.com slash sesh to get started. That's earthbreeze.com slash sesh for 40% off. earthbreeze.com slash sesh. So we're going to talk about Chris Tyson. Um, so if you don't know who Chris Tyson is, he is very close friend with Mr. Beast, and he's been in his videos for years. And if you, I'm sure you know who Mr. Beast is. Biggest YouTuber in the world. In the world. Yeah. Um, amazing creator, in my opinion, has really done a lot with his platform and inspired many other people to to see what you can you can do and that there's a lot of power that comes with influence and it can be used for good. And I have always loved Chris. Chris Same. has always been my favorite person on Mr. Beast. I'm not gonna lie, I like him more than Mr. Beast. <laughs> he's Me just, he's so Well, by the way, Chris currently goes by all pronouns. Yes. He said that it doesn't mm -hmm. matter. Like Yeah, he hasn't um confirmed or like he, I think a yeah, lot he of put it a is, label on himself. Yes. I he's, believe. This is a he's coming out, you know, over time and that could change if you're watching this in the future. Sure. But as of right now, yeah. Um but yeah, I love Chris. I, I do too. I've always thought that he brings so much to the videos and I'm not like a giant Mr. Beast fan. No, I haven't I seen every video. I've uh -uh. seen like maybe a few a year, but I've always really liked him, especially in the old days when I used to watch it a lot. Yeah, same. Um, he's always been my favorite person on there. And uh recently he has come out as being on HRT mm -hmm. and seems to be transitioning. I don't want to like put a label on exactly what's going on because he has been kind of keeping some of it to himself, probably to protect himself from what's going on right now, which has been, God, really depressing, really sad to see how how brutal people have been. And in the numbers, yeah, I just, I'm shocked. Yeah, basically it came out on Twitter. No surprise there. So first in 2020, Chris came out as bisexual. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know, Chris was married um, to his wife. They had a kid together. They ended up getting divorced, whatever, moving forward to present day now on April 5th is when the tweets started coming out about how Chris is taking HRT and says that it saved his life and many others. And the hurdles GNC people have to jump through to get life-saving, gender-affirming health care in a first world country is wild to me. Just let people make informed decisions about their own bodies. Literally, why is that so difficult? All people want is to be able to make informed, consensual decisions about their own fucking or themselves bodies. themselves in a free country. Right, free country. It's the weirdest thing. To, why do you care? I don't understand why you give a fuck what someone else is doing with their time. It's maddening. I, I like, will never understand it. It's not harming them in any way. In any way. No. I mean, it, it there's, doesn't even affect them at, like, at all. No. Not during their day, not in their... It's not going to change their life. No. 
No, so, yeah. it's not like you are now no being sense. forced to be best friends with a trans person. Right. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to. If you talk, don't like it, just like just just don't, shut the fuck just up. Just mind right. your own like, fucking business. Mind your business. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Just mind your own. It's business. not that hard, right? It's right. not that hard, and it's such a small percentage of people overall that the chances of you even coming in cr- across a trans person is very slim as it is. So why why do you care so much? Why is it bothering you that it's becoming the the main source of anger in your life? Right. That is fucking weird it's you guys are weird right i just i don't understand these people dude so anyways chris comes out and tweets that mr beast responds to it with got you and some heart emojis and so it's obvious that mr beast is supporting his dear friend yeah these guys are all best friends and have been for a long time (sighs) so the fucking real hatred comes in because of the fact that chris has a kid yeah and so people are like how someone goes there goes a father figure the kid won't be able to look up to hard times create strong men strong men create good times good times create weak men and weak men create hard times weak man times and chris says this is just more dog whistling that somehow trans and gnc folks aren't safe around kids tucker who's chris's uh, son begs for me to come back when i leave for like two days to film he is so loved and happy kids aren't born with hate it's taught by people like you and my child will only know love Mm -hmm. he says i know i'm going to be a great parent and so is every other person who puts love of their child before everything i made this decision because i wanted to show up as my best and happiest self for him in a way i did this for tucker I'm really proud of him. It is not easy to come out on the platform that you're on with how many people are in that whole Mr. Beast universe and just how many eyes on you. That is that cannot be easy. And I'm sure that this has not been easy on him mentally. I know his statements seem to be very strong, and I hope that he is really, really believes that himself, everything that he's saying, because he's right. He is a good parent. He will be a good parent. And one day, if 15 years from now, if you were to interview Tucker, he would say exactly that. And mm-hmm. I guarantee you, there are so many children out there with trans parents, gay parents, two two moms, two dads that turn out amazing. So this argument that you're going to be a bad parent if you're being authentically yourself. Yeah, that's what? Your kid would never want that for you. Right. You love your parent. You would want them to be happy. And in order to show up and be the best parent you can be, you have to take care of your mental health first. Yes. So if that means living your authentic life, which is what it should mean, in order to be able to be the best parent, the best version of yourself, the best friend, the best kid for your parents, whatever it is, mm-hmm. like you deserve to do that. And that's a selfless thing to do. And to still know that, you know, I'm sure Chris knew like, oh God, when I Mm -hmm. come public with this, I'm going to get a lot of fucking hate and I'm going to do it anyways. Like people think that this is just like some fun trend that they're doing. Who the fuck is choosing to do this as a trend to get attention? It's like the amount of negative attention versus positive attention, unfortunately is so outweighed. The amount of hate that you get compared to the amount of support, at least online, maybe in your, hopefully in your personal life is different, but online, Who is choosing? "Mm, Yeah, I'm going to choose this extremely difficult path just because it's fun and I'm bored. Yeah. And that's the same conversation that's been going on forever just about anyone in the LGBTQ community is that it's a choice. Okay. Shut the fuck It's It's really so stupid that... God. And and yeah, to act like this is some willy-nilly thing that he just decided to do one right. day this is probably something he's been dealing with his whole life his whole life or at least a long a long time you don't just wake up and make a decision like, like this and a, probably a lot has gone into this so and for all these people out there that are like saying that this is a bad business decision for him like a bad career me you think he gives a fuck about his career and his followers and money over being his authentic self right Like, maybe you can't understand what that's like. It's just, I don't even know. These people are so stupid. It's like unreal. I'm just clearly I'm burnt out on this whole issue. This feel like so frustrated. I feel like we just go round and around and around. We say the same thing. Right. It's like, it's just this echo chamber of idiots. No, literally. I get a ton of attention. Yeah. Like this one YouTuber. Oh my God. This is the dumbest thing I have ever seen. Dumbest fucking thing. So this YouTuber, the username is SunnyV2. Created Who a video talks like this. this. He like dries out everything. This. I can't even do it. It's so annoying. <laughs> Can we play it so we get an idea? Sure. 
let's just let's just play a little bit of this Sunny V2 video where this guy is hiding his own transphobia, which is, I mean, pretty obvious anyway. But by just reading all of these hateful comments about yeah. Chris um, and acting as if they're like valid points when that's just he's just reciting hate. And not really reading anything from the other side. The title is literally Why Chris Will Soon Be a Nightmare for Mr. Beast. And it's gotten a fuck ton of views. You think Mr. Beast cares? You think he's actually going to be affected by this? He won't. Right. His bottom line will never be affected by having a if anything, it friend will benefit. on HRT. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> you are so, so dumb. He is the biggest YouTuber in the world. He is so massive that your tiny brain could never even comprehend how massive Mr. Beast is. And this is not a nightmare for him. I guarantee you, he does not care. This he's whole, a good person and he's here to support his friend. Period. No, yeah. This whole video that whatever Sunny V2 made basically insinuated that like... It's got a lot of views. It basically was like Mr. Beast is being forced to try and support his friend because if he doesn't, he'll get canceled. But then he doesn't really have this true opportunity to speak about his actual concerns about having this damage his career or channel or whatever because mm -hmm. if he does that... He'll be canceled. If he takes Chris off the channel, he'll be canceled. But if, if he Chris does nothing, resigns, he'll, it'll still cause drama. Yep, because people assume right. he made him resign. Right. So it's canceled, canceled, And so like, poor Mr. Beast doesn't have the chance to basically somehow find a way to get Chris off the channel. But if he doesn't find a way to get Chris off this channel, then his channel's going to die. His whole career's going down. His channel's going to die. All right, dude. Keep, keep thinking whatever you want. Like, this guy is so massive. If there's a million transphobic uh, people that watch yeah. Mr. Beast... Bye. Send him out. He probably Literally wants will do him gone. nothing to him. That's what you don't understand is like people think that or people will tell us when we talked about Donald right. Trump recently that, oh, we're going to unsubscribe because we don't agree with your views. We don't care. <laughs> I don't know how to tell you. I'm like, sure there would be people commenting this like, oh, this is just too political, which, by the way, this isn't politics. This is fucking human rights. But, yeah. you know, and, oh, and sorry, if you, ladies, if you, if you don't agree with us and you can listen and still hang out. We We appreciate your view, but we're not yeah. going to like try cater to, to cater no. our views to what you want because we it no. affects the success of our show we do not care same fucking thing with when uh, abortion rights were taken and yeah. Roe v. Wade was overturned oh, we, we went followers. on here and fucking raged for an hour and there was a decent I mean you think we were watching the followers go down just right. crying we don't care we don't even look we don't we don't know off you go bye <laughs> like we don't care he does not care. No, and I was gonna say and we're a tiny little channel compared to yeah. Mr. Beast is literally the biggest YouTuber he doesn't give a single fuck. No, no. Crush he doesn't all of you. fucking care. Okay. So let's listen to this guy's voice, first yeah. of all. Because <laughs> I don't know why he's talking like this. I don't know why he's 2022. talking. <laughs> yeah, why are you talking in general? <laughs> Just going... It's make, He makes this sound like it's like a horror. Two. Chris like, began it sounds to like a true crime video. <laughs> like, let's go over the nail polish. <laughs> then he had nail polish on. On. He was... Increasingly feminine <laughs> traits, making tweets such as, I finally got my nails done at a nail tech. Additionally, nail Chris tech. would highlight that his facial appearance had changed significantly since the start of the pandemic, which accompanied another post <laughs> reading, Okay, so in four different customs, I had to prove I was myself because I, quote, look nothing like my passport pic, so much that I'm considering <laughs> updating like, my like, passport. Like, do you see any resemblance? Prompting replies such as, you went from man to boy. Chris just responded by stating, nah, to be honest, I just really started taking my mental health seriously and eating better. Yet his Twitter photos kept better. insinuating that Chris was becoming more feminine, with this same kind of look showing up in his Mr. Beast appearances. For example, on the 6th of January to- Okay, I think that's enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but he just goes on and keeps reading these videos and then, yeah, basically says that this is some giant conundrum for Mr. Beast and he's screwed because of it. Okay. To which Mr. Beast literally goes on Twitter and says, yeah, this is getting absurd. Chris isn't my quote nightmare. He's my fucking friend and things are fine. All this transphobia is starting to piss me off. I'm glad that he said that. I hope he speaks out even more. I Same. hope that he really like addresses this on the channel. You should at like some do point. a giant charity event mm -hmm. for trans. Yeah. Uh, some like type of trans yeah. rights Tell organization. With kindness. Bring it back yeah. to, to what really matters here fucking weird can i just say so i looked up uh mr beast mr beast social blade he's gone up 20 percent. he's fine there you go he's doing that fantastic a plus rating yeah, yeah. the it's, dude but it's the woke fine. disease is going to tank all the businesses and all the youtubers okay keep telling yourself that it makes me laugh that yeah now like the woke disease I know. the woke disease that word has been so hijacked i know like it's it's unreal <sighs> and even youtube came out um, and support well, at least YouTube, Twitter. I don't know who yeah. tweets that or whatever, but they um, responded to a picture of 
that Chris posted. He said, it's never too late to start being yourself. And they said, you're glowing. He looks so happy. I know. He looks happier than he's been in a long time. So just why just get a light. And I think it's wonderful because I'm sure there are so many viewers of Mr. Beast that have related to Chris yes. going through this experience oh that appreciate God. his vulnerability Thousands. and his honesty. Millions. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. I'm not I am not a trans person and I am inspired and I Same. am grateful that he's been able to be his honest self and come out and is brave enough to fucking face all these lunatics out there who like hate him and are giving him death threats. I know it's it's got to be a really scary thing. I'm sure he he really had to like mentally prepare for yeah. this moment. And, and I hope he's getting the support behind closed doors. I'm sure I'm sure he is. Yes. Their, their crew seems to be yeah. a lot of awesome people in there. So. And of course, there was like this one live stream recently of the crew opening like a thousand mystery boxes or something. And, and oh, yeah. these people were clipping like these awkward moments. You can see that Mr. Beast is just really upset right now. They're he's, all complimenting each other's shirts. And but then he doesn't compliment right. Chris's, Chris's shirt. shirt and he's it's forced a girl to shirt. smile. He's, poor Mr. Beast is forced to smile through the pain <laughs> he's right being now. being held at gunpoint <laughs> behind the camera. <laughs> you guys are delusional. Like for real. <sighs> oh, so sad for you. So sad for you. What a waste of your time and energy. Bizarre to me. You guys are there's real weenies. world issues out there that really are in dire need of attention. Yeah, but let's let's focus on people's gender and sexuality. Okay. Right. Doesn't have anything to do with you. Fucking so, yeah, weird. That's us just going off for a while on this because it it's really it's just really which obviously pissing me off. these examples are part of a much bigger yeah, issue. Yeah, there's a lot going on right now. And we will continue to highlight um, stories uh -huh. that, you know, continue. Because this, I mean, this isn't going anywhere. These no. people are empowering themselves and they're, it's like an army. Yeah, it's horrific. Yeah. So anyway, only love here. Only love here. You're safe here. Yep. That's one thing. I, that's probably the thing I'm most proud about about this channel is that it really does seem like a safe space. Obviously, there's, you know, people on here can comment whatever, but for the most part, it's a very supportive community. People in the comments, mm -hmm. I love reading the comments and you guys lifting each other up. And you know, I'll get DMs of like, "Thank you for the sesh." Like, it makes me feel like I have a safe space and that you guys support me. And yeah, that was really know. our goal with this show. Yeah, should we turn change gears here a little bit? Switch yeah. gears. I could use a pick me up. So got any alcohol? We got any Bud Light? <laughs> I could go for a can of Bud Light. We don't, but we do have something. Yeah, a little pick me up. Ooh, Kendall's birthday is on Saturday. So by the time this episode goes up, it's in no Sunday, no Saturday, Saturday. Yeah, it's in two days, and um, we wanted to do like a little birthday <laughs> segment. So, so I'm old. You're turning thirty. I am actually really excited. To I know it sounds 30? weird. I felt depressed cool. at 28. I felt depressed, at, really depressed at 29 when I was pregnant. I was very sad. Remember, I yeah. told you on my birthday, I was like well, you crying. Were, I was also editing your vlog on your birthday and you were like crying. I cut this yeah. out. And I was like, <laughs> just cut out everything. <laughs> I was an emotional wreck. But I am really happy and embracing my 30s. That's I feel great. really good about it. I am like the happiest and healthiest I have been in years. I feel Aww. younger than I did a few That's years ago. fantastic. Yeah. I would say I also really see good. that in you. You. From where you, not that you were like a mess by any means last year, but you have grown significantly, I would say, yeah. in the past year. Thank you. I feel like I have too. Like mentally, health wise, I mean, I was really sick for many years and mm -hmm. I felt like I was 80 at some points. And so to just to have my health and to feel good. Yeah. I love being a mother. It has been the best thing that's ever happened to me. I love who being a mother has made me become. Mm. I'm just like 30, flirty, and thriving. Hell yeah. 30, yeah. flirty, and thriving. Thriving. Yep. Yes. Thriving. <laughs> they say that your 30s are the best. They do. They're, they say that it's better than your 20s. I'm feeling it so far. I don't feel like depressed. You need I to watch. I was really going to be sad, but I'm I'm into it. You need to watch good. 13 going on 30 as a little commemorative. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. That's I know. Like one of my favorite I movies. told Josh we're watching that one night this week for sure. Oh, it's such a good movie. You probably haven't seen it, but it's really good. You would like it. It's That's different than Freaky. Yeah, it's different. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Freaky Sorry, Friday. I always no. Isn't aren't they the same? Isn't no. who's in Freaky Friday? Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis and Lindsay Lohan. Isn't Lindsay Lohan thirteen going on thirty? Mm, no. no, it's Jennifer Garner. Yeah, oh, Frick. Frick. You remember that dress? Like everyone, it's like that colorful dress. 
the, like color no. block. Dress. Yeah, it's like um, you would pink, love blue, purple. Thirteen going on thirty. It's so cute. This one, Janelle, so easy to watch. Yeah, oh. that's the, like the thirteen going on thirty dress. Yeah, and he yeah. does the the dance, the dance to Thriller. Yes. Oh, cute. That's such a good movie. I I always love Maddie in that movie. I, have I a know. crush on him. I love um Mark Ruffalo so much. He's this so is, sexy. This is like my feel good movie. Like anytime I'm feeling really in the dumps, this is like my go to movie. It's so good. You would love it. You should just watch it for me this okay. week. Okay. It's my thirtieth birthday present. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Um I have to go grab a thing and then we will be right back. Okay. So one of the sponsors I have been so excited to partner up with here on the sesh is Mind Bloom. Many of you have heard me talk about my experience with ketamine and how it saved my life, you guys. I am just, I can't say enough good things about it and what a transformation it was for me. I am so grateful that I found those treatments and did them when I did because it really turned things around for me. I can vouch for that. Like, yeah, it really did. It was you like, were like amazing. a different person. It, I seriously was. Yeah. I mean, it works. It's a miracle. And I love knowing that if I ever feel like I need it again, I can always go back to it. So if you are struggling with depression and anxiety, I highly recommend checking out ketamine therapy. And what's so cool is with Mind Bloom, you can do it right from the comfort of your home. There's a new tool to improve your mental health, at-home ketamine therapy. Mindbloom is the leader in at-home ketamine therapy, having safely helped thousands of people overcome their anxiety and depression. Unlike traditional talk therapy, ketamine works quickly and doesn't have all the unpleasant side effects of traditional antidepressants. In a study of over 1,200 Mindbloom clients, 89% reported improvements in their anxiety and depression after only two sessions. And right now, Mindbloom is offering our listeners $100 off your first six session program when you sign up at mindbloom.com sesh and use promo code sesh. Take the first step and break free from your anxiety and depression with Mindbloom. Again, that's mindbloom.com sesh and use promo code sesh. Ooh, my favorite kind of drink. So we had to have a little cocktail. We don't have any fucking champagne glasses. That was my B. But I figured we needed a little champagne birthday mm. toast with cotton candy in it. Yes. Because we're forever young. Do you guys have some? Yes, they have theirs. Oh, good. Yeah. Sydney's drinking out of a mason <laughs> jar. <laughs> um, so should we knock it in there? I also have orange Ooh. juice if you want to make a mimosa. Ooh, what a treat. But Thank yeah, you. I feel like, remember um that one? Mm. What was that one drink from Vegas? The serendipity yeah. restaurant? The cotton yeah. candy Well, drink? remember I had it at my wedding too. Oh yeah, the cotton candy. Cotton yep. candy. Cotton candy, candy as we cotton called candy. it. Cotton candy. Oh, the wedding. yeah. Yep. All right, drop her in, baby. Mm, this, is, this is the best. Yeah. I love cotton candy. Me too. Mm. So cute. It's so fun <clears> looking. Hmm. <throat> Ooh, it's spicy. Oh, good. Cheers. Cheers. Happy birthday. Thank you. Oh, that shot in my eye. <laughs> mm. That is so good. Damn, that's fucking good. Mm-hmm. Mm, it's really sweet. It's delicious. Mm. I love it. Okay. Um, hey, water of the day. <laughs> water of the day. <laughs> oh, my God. Water? Yeah, there's a whole, like, water, water. talk. Mm. People add, like, a bunch of syrups and stuff to their water. Because <laughs> like it's sugar healthy. free syrups. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Like Super as a joke. Healthy. Well, they're no. just trying to drink more water. Oh. I think people are being a little dramatic about it. So yeah, it's, it's different than dramatic. drinking like a Diet Coke or like something. You... It's aspartamein or as. Aspartame. I can never say that. Aspartame. 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 Remember? Oh I my use those gosh. little drink packets. I like them. There yeah. was like some ad. Yeah. <laughs> a while back. Remember? Oh, you, yeah. were, you couldn't say Aspartame. I like literally was it's losing my shit. It's more time. <laughs> yeah. Aspartame. <laughs> okay. Um, you need a little. Oh, God. This, this shit's going to get everywhere. Dirty 30 sash. Wow. Oh, for your wow. dirty 30 segment. Thank you. I'm going to wear this. Sydney and I are having a birthday party. Oh, you should wear on that. On Friday. I'm totally going to wear this. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. It's cute. So, yeah, like, um, actually, I don't know if you said this on air, but usually we have been doing like big birthday parties on the sesh, but. The but once is, you turn 30, it's all over it's and all the like, fun's How many ends. times are we going to keep doing the same <laughs> yeah, thing true. where we like have a cake, have a drink, yeah. have a this, blah, blah, blah. We like, felt like it was a little overboard and we wanted a little to kind of reel it back a little bit. But on we still want to do something fun. Um, So I have a few gifts for you. Thank you. So One fun. of them, I also got Sydney, so I don't want you to get it until... Mm. I give Sydney hers, so we're going to wait on that one. Yeah, normally Sydney and I celebrate our birthdays together on the show, but the way it fell, 
Sydney's birthday is next Monday. So we'll be recording on her birthday next week. Now, I'm a very bad cousin and didn't wrap it. I don't care. So I actually think wrapping wrapping paper is such a waste. Yeah, it sounds like whatever. I'm just going to give it to you in the wrapping it came in. Okay. Dude, when Josh and I do presents a lot, we'll just wrap them in blankets. (laughs) Yeah. Because we're just both lazy. Like on Christmas, we kept just wrapping them in the same, same blanket, blanket giving it back the- <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's good for the environment. It is. Wrapping paper is such a waste. Okay, this is your first little gift. Oh, these are fun little things. They're little straw covers for your Stanley. Oh, it, my god. It made gosh, me laugh. because That's so cool. I know. Isn't it cute? I love them. Oh, that's so smart. Because my so Stanley, the- like, it'll collect nastiness right at the tip. Oh, really? All the time. Like, I'm, like, what? cleaning it. I don't know. My lip gloss. Um, yeah, like, you know, or, like dirt, dust. whatever is yeah. in there. Oh, okay. Yeah, dust from my my lamp on my nightstand. Who knows what's falling in there? Oh, But it'll, like, kind of accumulate up at the top. And I'm, like, always sticking a napkin in there and, and like, cleaning clean it, it out. out. Oh, maybe that will help. I don't know. Yes, it will. I know. Aren't they so cute? Ugh. I literally Googled rainbow. Stanley cup accessories. Oh, it doesn't... Shut up. It doesn't fit. I think this part goes over the straw and then the little cap caps on the straw. I think they're pretty... T- oh, yeah. It's not fitting no, wait. very well. I think that's the wrong part, Kendall. No, no, no. That's... Oh. Wait, here. Let me see. Maybe I need a smaller straw. No, no, no. These said they fit. I think you have to stretch them maybe. Oh, my God. If this doesn't fit, how fucking pathetic is that? Are you using a Stanley straw for sure? Is this a Stanley yeah. straw, Kendall? Yeah, that is. <sighs> doesn't fit. Maybe you have to like really like work it on there. Ow. It's like a condom. Come on, baby. Yeah, this is um a little tight. <laughs> She's tight. That's what she said. Because you're supposed to then like hook this onto here so it stays yeah, on and I then that and pop it on. It on the but yeah, it's like way too small. What Wait, the fuck? Are they all the same? Did- yeah, maybe you should return these. <laughs> oh my god, it's so pathetic. I think you got ripped off. These like do not fit Stanley's. Wait, does it fit my straw? No, these are like oh wait, it fits my straw. Does it? So maybe I just need to get smaller straws for them. I mean, yeah. Or that's actually so cool, and I want them. Do you only use this kind of straw? Yeah, because then it'll leak. But I would be open to using another one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well that's fucking. Or for lame. other drinks. One gift dud. What? That's so lame. Why don't they? I don't fit? know. They like don't fit at all. It's I literally googled Stanley Cup accessories, and this is the first thing that popped up with these little straw things. They're so cute. It's like I'm all sad. the rage. I love them. They don't work. A little rainbow. There's like a little cat paw. <laughs> that is very depressing. Okay. Well, <laughs> anyways, that's awkward. <laughs> Guess you could just use them for yeah, decoration. Just, I don't know. Damn. Maybe I'll just keep working on it and see if I can get well, them. Well, that's to... like if it's that hard, then you're never going to want to use them because it's going to take forever to get them on. That's off. true. Oh, that's I'm about to. So... Oh, oh, there we oh. go. There we go. This one's a little more like forgiving, but then how do you? So you have to push that one down, push it down more. But then there's no way this is getting over. <laughs> this this hole's smaller. Well, fuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, cute idea. I appreciate the thought. It's cute idea. A cute idea. Horrible execution. <laughs> oh damn, they're so cute. I'll use them on other cups in the office. You well, guys may see them on my cups. That's true. We have like straws up the ass here. So yeah, we do. Okay. Anyways, um. Now that you're turning 30, you need the ultimate comfort and relaxation. Also, the fact that you are Taurus. So mm. is that picking up on camera? That could be very oh, annoying. I'm here. sorry. I'm doing things. I forget the mic was there. Yeah, sorry. I'll stop. <laughs> <laughs> so now that you're 30, you need comfort and relaxation. Okay. So I decided I would get you some, Oh, uh, what are they? Shower steamers. Mm. Vanilla or no lavender shower Thank steamers, you. and they have little. I love a good shower steamer thingies on them. Ooh, they smell so good. Can you show us what they look mm, like? Yes, beautiful SW candy. Where are these from? Mm, I don't remember. Mm, Amazon, I think really actually. Good. Ooh, this bougie boutique downtown. Yeah, mm. that's right. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, I lied. I yeah, <laughs> they were forty eight dollars. Okay, I'll use them wisely. <laughs> Awesome. Um, Thank you. Okay, let's see. I have one more gifty gift. Oh, hey, Charles. Again, going with the vibe of comfort and relaxation. I figured Ooh. you could wear these around the office. Oh, or wherever. An office thing. Oh, I love these. Oh, my. Oh, this is why he asked me my shoe size yeah. last week. I thought that was sponsor related or oh, something. Oh, no. Oh, good. I'm glad you thought that. 
Oh my God, I love I these. I like them because they're like, have like the sole of a shoe. You can like yes. wear it around here, you know, That's outside if you need to or whatever. Yeah. But then it still is like a comfy Ooh, slip. They're so cute. And aren't they cute? Dude, I'm going to wear these all the time. These are going to be my new office slippers. I actually have a pair of office slippers, but they're like quite worn and I sweaty s- and dirty I looking. S- so. I know. I, that's why I was like, I need a replacement. Eh, she needs a replacement. It's <laughs> <That's> amazing. <laughs> Thank you. How you're do you like welcome. keep slippers good for a long time? It's because not possible. Your feet just get nasty, and then they get hot and sweaty, and then they're just they stink. No, it literally, it doesn't like that's unless you wear socks gift. with them. Mm. But that's kind of like eh. yeah, they are like you can always get someone slippers because yeah. chances are their slippers are rank. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Thank you. You're it's welcome. So thoughtful. Oh, I I'm love it. And I love these, these fucking straw. Me things. too. I'm very upset about it because I was really excited, but. These don't even look like they would fit into here. So I think you got some defective things here. Dude, they had great reviews. Like, what the <laughs> That is fuck? so annoying. They're so Yeah, how cute. are you supposed to... Because even if you used another straw, or maybe another straw would fit... Yeah, you'd have oh. to use like a small straw. Well, I just popped a nail off trying to get oh, mine on the hair. No, I have a nail glue yeah, on the idea is to like put this down here and then be like... Yeah, a cap. it's really cute. I think it would work fuck on one of those shit. small metal straws. No, that's annoying. It's supposed to work on a Stanley. Uh, leaving poor review <laughs> leaving a poor review yeah, yeah. You, you go off but right. thank you i do appreciate yeah, the thought they're very welcome. very cute <laughs> i love them <laughs> okay cool anyways um yeah and then your other gift is has to do with sydney so i'm just gonna wait okay sounds good well thank tell you. us 30 things you've learned in your life wait i have thing. a gift for you too oh oh i know 30 things no. i learned in my oh. life oh no you're good you, time. you read your gift time come come no, no. Tell 30, us 30 things that about was more you. so a joke, but oh. <laughs> I'm like, that's a long list. 30 things, ready, go. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, I'll I'll take a she goes, I'll plead the fifth yeah. on that one. I haven't learned much in this life. Really? I've learned that people are stupid. Oh, okay. We're still on that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, FYI, since um I came straight from the airport. I will be giving you your gift oh, on Wednesday. Thank you, Sid. I'm sorry, though. No, don't be sorry. Sydney I did not forgot even about you and doesn't even today. care. Oh, I'm just kidding. stop. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Really? So I'm going to supposed to travel to Austin with it. So. probably actually freaking wrapped hers. That's wow. always a plus. She's we love that. always the creative goddess. Ooh, a plant friend. Love that. Oh, thank he's you. cute. He's so cute. I saw him I and I said, sucky. Kendall. Yes, definitely <laughs> Kendall. And I said, Kendall. I love him. Thank you. Yeah. So cute. Is that? He is very cute. There's a couple other things oh, in there. Oh my gosh. You did not have to do this. Thank you. Oh, what is this? Have you seen these on TikTok? No. What is what this? Is that? What did oh, it is say? this a candle? Yeah. Oh, how cool. And like everyone's been reading. Maybe I'm just like. Oh, and this is that brand I love. DW do you? Home. Yeah. These, you get them at. Uh, I, smooth- well, I get them at TJ Maxx. Oh, fun. Can you light it with the top on or is it plastic? Mm. Yeah, probably shouldn't. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, I've, I've been seeing these plastic. like all over TikTok because they're cute and they look like a little like smoothie, like, mm. smoothie or something. Oh my God, that's so adorable. Cute. Let me smell, let me smell. It smells really good. I Matcha berry. Mm. Mm, delicious. So and there's good. one more little thing in there. Okay. Damn, this thing's heavy duty. A Himalayan mood lamp. Oh my gosh, how fun. It turns on different colors. And it's a tiny... It's tiny. It's a tiny lamp. <laughs> that is so fun. <laughs> I wonder So I wonder if it plugs in with like a USB or something. Yeah, I think yeah. so. Oh, perfect for my desk. That's what you I was know, thinking. I love my mood lighting in there. Everyone in the office makes fun of me because as soon as I get in, I close all the windows and turn on yeah, mood it's lighting. It's not mood lighting. There is, is no <laughs> lighting. <laughs> no, there's a light. My Turkish lamp is always on. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's a I little turn light. on some light. <laughs> my makeup mirror, some light. No, now you do your makeup in the freaking room over in the here. Dark. <laughs> I in like the complete great. dark. Yeah, I like the vibe. I am like such a vampire. You are? I can't stand opening the windows. I don't know how Josh like always tries to open the windows in our room in the morning. I'm like, hell no, not in the morning. Not I need in the darkness. Morning. The morning I I just agree like with. to shower in the dark. I like to pretty much just be really? in the dark all, all the time. Yeah. It makes me like depressed and tired in the dark. It makes mm. me scared. I feel depressed in the light. I feel the same way. You scared you scared of the dark a little? A little bit. Yeah. I mean it depends. Yeah. Oh, I love it. This is so Does awesome. it like build it like builds it. up in your head and then you're like, oh my god, I just need to go to bed. Yeah, it's no, that's what's going to go for. <laughs> this is so <laughs> cute. Thank you. It's oh my god, so that is adorable. Fun. Oh, it, it uses you. batteries. Oh, okay. Oh, that's so cute. Hopefully, so I can it just works. turn it on when I get in. 
I'm sure it will. Motion activated. I love it. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Happy, Happy 30th birthday, Thank friend. Thank you. We Thank also you so have a special much. guest so here um, that we He's actually so made come to the studio. He literally was able to last minute show Stop. up. Okay, should we do it now? Yeah. Wait, what? Okay, come, Zach Lewis. <laughs> no. I was like, <laughs> oh, I shut up. What? <laughs> <laughs> we really had to like, you know, like up ourselves last year. We're recording year. today. Don't even try to fool me. You're right. You're like, no, that's not possible. Uh, oh my god, this is so cute, though. I thought maybe Hiram would come out or something. Hiram? Yeah. No, I don't know where Hiram is. I oh, think. he's at Coachella, man. Oh yeah, dude, Coachella looked fun this year, honestly. Yeah. Kind of wish I could go. I no interest. Yeah, I was gonna say. Even no I would have a mental breakdown at Coachella. A Same TV. here. Definitely a mentee. A mentee. I could not handle all those people and all the. Fashion competition. I oh, just feel so all the shit weird. you gotta pack and yeah, earrings yeah. and la la la. No offense, I earrings think, and la la la. And then Janelle, people just rip you online for your outfit. Yeah, Janelle and Corelli, I think you guys would be great there. Yeah, agreed. I would you get really tired go. after like the one fire day, signs. but it does look really. Fun it does look really fun for a day. But uh, Coachella, I don't know. I don't. I don't think I do Coachella because same reason you said Kendall. I feel like it's too like. It's too fashion fashion show. It's not for the music. No, it's that's for the true. Fashion. That's true. There's that's so point. many influencers that just don't even go, but they go stay in an Airbnb in the desert somewhere near it and just take, take pictures, pictures and pretend they're that there. That blows my fucking mind. I just saw Odessa, like a TikTok of Odessa playing um, mm. like a night or two ago, and it looked Oh, they were at Coachella? Awesome. Yeah. Oh, I bet that was cool. It looked really cool. I think, Bad Bad I think, I think they were, unless it was last year's me. performance. I don't know, whatever. Anyways, um, okay, so we have one more little activity because you're turning 30 we thought it'd be fun to do what you already know this is happening 90s trivia <sighs> i'm so excited i love trivia i know you do i'm not even that good at it but i love doing it it's fun i mean sydney is the trivia queen she put this together because sydney watches um what's it called jeopardy every single she day does. and every. You, this is not every she's, day this is not every day just, just almost every Any day. day that ends in y have you ever been on Jeopardy, Kendall? Has there been like a YouTuber known for true crime? Blah, blah. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> like, have I been a question yeah. or have I been on it? No, no, no. Have you been a question? I don't think so. Oh. I haven't ever heard of a question about her. I was the wrong person to ask. <laughs> right, right, right. Okay. But Jeopardy's like too smart for me. The questions are like way over my head. Bored. I get so bored. Yeah. My grandma used to watch it all the time. It reminds me of her. Like she'd cook and like, dinner and watch Jeopardy. It. Yeah. <laughs> dumbass Jeopardy. Like Jeopardy for dummies. Dummies. Yeah, <laughs> literally. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't always know. Well, more often than not, I don't know the answers, but it's kind of fun. Like when you get one right, it feels really good. Yeah. Because you feel really <laughs> smart. Like I could go in here and cream all these people. Yeah. There's some like I actually. Yeah. <laughs> Same, I was going to say that was really nasty. <laughs> cream them. Cream me. I like that saying. You uh, sick. There's some categories that you guys would actually blow it out of the water. You like that saying? Blow it out. Of the water. Yeah, me and Sydney blow with them. our sayings. We're going to cream them and blow them out. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all nasty as hell. I'm cream you. <laughs> like, beat you. I want to okay, uh, cream you guys in trivia. Am, is it just me? Uh, yeah, you get like first pick. This would be would interesting. Say. Oh, so you're though, playing like, too? Yeah. I guess if play. like you can't figure it out, then okay. I'll give it a shot. Well, okay. do you know the yeah. answer since you saw? Uh, not, no, not really. I looked at it very briefly okay. for about five seconds okay. to All right. make sure that they were there. All right. So I was born in 1993. Mm-hmm. Sure were. Mm. What was going on in 93? Mm, much better times. In a lot of ways, yeah. Yeah, life was simple. You know, I was thinking about last night, how like, obviously we're so addicted to our phones for the social media, for the convenience to order food, whatever, whatever, but the flashlights. So. So Can you addicted. imagine like you're like last night I was looking for my phone charger Same. on the ground. I quickly grab my phone and use my flashlight. Do people go and get a flashlight like out of the garage to I see? Think, yeah. I think they just turn the light on. Or well, oh, if true. you need a flashlight. Or like your power though. goes out. Yeah. I mean, now you have your flashlight on your phone. Do you have a candle. flash? Do you I mean, I use my home? flashlight all the time. I was I literally don't have using a flashlight. No. Actually, yeah, we do. For the dogs at night. Yeah. I don't own a flashlight like at all. I don't yeah. think mm. I have like mad coyotes out where I live. So I if you brought that, that thing that's... all day, I, that's so true. It's so convenient. Yeah. Same with picture taking. Just everything. Oh yeah. Like there is no more. The amount of video. Anytime picture. I want a video of my baby, I just take it out and do it. Like right. versus they'd have to go make sure the camera's charged and make sure that they press record right. 
We have so much home video where my mom thought she was recording and then she'd set it down and then start recording. Yep. And then it's just, we have this classic video in our family where my mom thought she was filming our opening Christmas presents and then she started it and put it on the table in front of a plate of cheese and my cat gets up oh. on the table and starts eating all the cheese. <laughs> it's just like 20 minutes of him eating cheese. Wait, that's fucking it's awesome. amazing. Uh, oh, God, home videos. I know. I love home videos. I know. I'm really grateful that we got to have those. Yeah, we bought like a a vid, uh, like a digital camera specifically for home videos, and we've only taken it out like twice, like once on Christmas. We oh, did, I remember like, you a were little... carrying around that. I was like, "What are you doing? Are yeah. you vlogging?" And you're like, "No, it's home videos." Yeah, oh, okay, but it's like an extra step, you know? Right, it's easier on my phone. Exactly. Yeah, I have this crazy. fear that I'll lose it all if it's on my phone. Well, no, know. you're. It's safer if you're no, on your phone. If it's on the cloud because if you true. do lose your phone, then who cares? No, it's so true. All right, trivia Anyways, time. Anyways, okay, moving on. Sydney, you lead the trivia since you are the trivia master. Okay, first question. Okay. Who played Kevin McAllister in the blockbuster film Home Alone? I was going to say Kevin McAllister. That's not his name. <laughs> or Macaulay Hulkin. That's correct. Woo-hoo. Macaulay, mm. his name is Hulkin? Col- Macaulay Culkin. Macaulay Culkin. Oh, right, right. Macaulay. Macaulay. I like him. I think he, ma- he married uh, Brenda Song. Oh, right. I knew that. And they were expecting Tipton. a kid, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think they maybe, maybe already had it, but yeah. You call her Lemon Tipton? London. Oh, I was like, yes, London. I loved her. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What was the most popular way in which movies were watched in the 90s? I'm going to give you options. Okay. Okay. A, a Blu-ray. B, <laughs> VHS. C, DVD. C, or D, streaming. <laughs> um, <laughs> a VHS? That was not the only way possible in the That's 90s? That's so obvious. <laughs> I think Blu-ray... See when Blu-ray came out, I feel like Blu-ray Definitely, like no, 2006. Blu-ray came out and like yeah, mm-hmm. before DVD. Mm-hmm. No, Blu- no DVD after. was first. Blu-ray yeah. is a type of DVD. Mm-hmm. Okay. 2006. Look about was look it up, 2006? Damn, I was accurate Blu-rays. on that. Look up DVD. Mm. <laughs> DVD came out like 2002. 97. Oh. Oh. Okay. All okay. right. Could have been a DVD. VHS. Got to nice. rewind that bitch. Yeah. Dude, but no, you got to pause. Hurt. Or stop it. You ever stick your hand in a DVD or a VHS <laughs> yeah. machine on accident? Yeah. One time I did that and it took a piece of skin off. Oh, boy. <laughs> it was very dramatic for me. <laughs> I knew a, a family I used to babysit for in my neighborhood and their kid stuck a bologna sandwich in their VHS. <laughs> what the was, fuck? Yeah. Why would you do that? Because he was dumb. Mm, cotton candy's fire, though. Mm-hmm. I want to try that orange. It, I think it's orange flavored. Mm-hmm. I was good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Next. Okay. What popular digital pet did everyone have in the 90s this is another a through D. i don't need it okay need it. tamagotchi nice it was tamagotchi what yes. was the other one neopets or something yeah neopets. yeah i thought neopets was a big thing too that was more like 2000s i feel like really i had neopets in 2000s i have sometimes think about them hopefully they're okay they're probably dead as fuck no you're gonna is it actually like you log in it's like yours died dead yeah. as fuck bitch goodbye dead as fuck. <laughs> like a little square like the graphics were awful. Mm. I never had a Tamagotchi, but Same. I knew people that did. And I That's was why I feel jealous. like it was too... I liked Tamagotchi. It was like before our time. Yeah, kind of was. We were a little young for that. Mm-hmm. I had a Tamagotchi. Really? They're you just like a little keychain thing. I mean, my sister was more into them. She's like, I need to feed my Tamagotchi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but um, okay, next one. What okay. year was Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas Is You released? 97. Wrong. Mm. I guess... 94. Wow. Yeah, that was right. I didn't know it was that old. I thought it was like maybe 10 years old. I thought it was like 2006. <laughs> <laughs> I'm believing forever. Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. She's making mm. lots of money on that. Oh, yeah. Every year. I love that fucking song. It's literally the top song every year. No, 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 no. You don't want to talk about 9 11. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Like, Have you heard about that? No. So he goes, okay. Mariah okay. Carey said that randomly at a concert. Yeah. That, He's like, no, 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 no. You, you don't, don't want to talk about 9-11. You know, I'll never forget. That's not good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll never no forget uh, Mariah Carey's, um, her New Year's pres- um, performance. It was like 2016 or 17. Mm. Was you guys bad? remember that? It was so bad. Yeah, like, oh, kind of yeah. Like, yeah. When it when it like wasn't working, she got pissed at people during it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was. That was a that was a good time. You know, and I still watch all the time. Fergie's. Uh, <laughs> yeah. When she's like doing Fast fucking ball. backflips. No. Oh. Uh, and Sherry, can yeah. you see? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like she did the national anthem at a basketball game, and 
literally Ugh. all the warriors are there and like Steph Curry and they're all like literally trying not to laugh. It is so it's, so it's really bad. It was an interesting yeah. rendition, that's for sure. You, you probably heard I'll it. Show it to you. You, yeah. um, you were telling us to watch that recently. Yeah. Oh, it's so funny. It's really bad. <laughs> it's so wild. I watch it all the time. Anyway. Okay. What was the first rap song to hit number one on the Billboard Hot 100? Mm. It's kind of hard. I had no options for that one. Damn. Okay. <laughs> no, there's options. Is there options, Ben? There's just an answer. Oh, shit. Damn. What the fuck? Can I know, like, the year it happened? 1990. Okay. And remember, rap. Oh, boy. Mm. Colt Ford. I feel like a two zigzags. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um... I feel like it was probably. You want to know the artist, or is that like way too? That would give it away. Huh? I probably like... give it away. I'm trying to just guess the artist. I'll be happy if I even do that. Probably, Tupac, Biggie, Easy E, one of them. Maybe not though. Hmm. He also um, sings the song. It's like under pressure. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, That's a bum, different bum, bum. song. Yeah, Vanilla but... Ice. Yeah. Oh. uh... Ice Ice Baby? Yeah. Hell okay. yeah. I fucking All love right, that, that song. That makes sense. Yes. I oh love God. that song. Mm-hmm. Very good. <laughs> yeah. Then you would love 13 Going on 30. Oh, really? Oh, the guy yeah. in it does yeah. a little dance to it. That's Hell yeah. such a fucking <laughs> yeah. good part. I love that. I love that movie. I, I love that movie, period. It's it so, so good. good. I'm going to go home and watch it tonight. I think I am too. <laughs> I feel like I've like we've wa- I've watched that movie so many times, but now it's like, I'm, I mean, you're going to be 30 two I days know. before me, but, but it's you're gonna be 30. real. Like we should watch it and see, you know? Yeah. Compared to when you were 13. Yeah. Okay. What Nickelodeon show kickstarted the careers of Nick Cannon, Keenan Thompson, and Amanda Bynes? Oh. All that. Nice. We just talked about all that. The show was so good. I never really watched all that. It was really good. So funny. Is that the one that was like kind of like um, Saturday Night Live? Yeah. Yeah. That's They'd so have like a musical guest have. and skits. And, yeah, it was funny. Yeah. It's good times. Okay. What was the name of the celebrity that Xenon wanted to meet in Xenon Girl, the 21st century? Oh, man. Oh, my God. I what was that. his name? He was like a British guy, right? Ah, mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, what oh. was his name? I'm going to sing the song. Well, I'm not going to sing no, it. No, I know this song is boom, boom, boom. Oh. Make my heart go. Oh, zoom, oh zoom. wait. Zoom, zoom. I got that wrong. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. No. no. <laughs> in my room. <laughs> Banga voice. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what his name it was. With a P. No idea. Protozoa. Oh yeah. Isn't that Protozoa. a type of a cell? Isn't that part of yeah. a cell? Well, it was like xenon and like mitochondria. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> they were all smart names. Uh huh. Oh, I loved their outfits. Mm-hmm. That was like my favorite. Mm-hmm. Raven Simone was so young. Is in my that? tongue like bright red? Yeah. Hell yeah. Maybe Maybe. him. She was. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I don't want to open because I have some in there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What popular 90s snack was best eaten by putting on your fingers as which fingernails? Olives. Black no, olives. that was only you and Sydney. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Mm, I could go for some black olives right now. It sounds so good. Oh, I have some stuffed olives at home. Think of like a snack. Like mm. A snack. You could buy and put on your fingers. Do you know? Mm-hmm. All right. I'll I'm pretty sure. Know. I don't know. Bugles. Yeah. The oh, are like, yeah, I don't like those motherfuckers. <gasps> I love bugles. Nasty. Still <laughs> like bugles today. I mm-hmm. haven't had them in years, but they're gross. I'm sure, they're good. They're delicious. Okay, moving on. Okay, Britney Spears released her debut album in 1999. What was it called? Uh, oops, I did it again. No. Hit me, baby, one more time. Yes. Sorry, I always get the two confused. Hit me, baby, always. one more time. Yep. Okay. Which Danish Norwegian band released the hit song Barbie Girl in 1997? Mm. I have four suggestions or four like um, answers. Or do you want to just guess? Oh, uh, I know it. It's like Aqua something. Isn't it like Aqua Man? <laughs> no. <laughs> aqua something. It or maybe they're aqua. just called Aqua. Yeah, it's just, it was, it's just okay. Did you have that CD like with the mm-hmm. bubbles all on it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh my yep. gosh, I, I did. That. Okay. Um, Ew, my fake nails like stuck on the fucking cotton candy. What a nasty hoe I am. <laughs> <laughs> this is the last question. Okay. What does the abbreviation AOL stand for? Oh shit! American Online. Hmm. 
I don't know. Yeah, American had, Online I, something. America Online. Line. <laughs> uh, maybe it's just America Online. Wow. <laughs> is I, that it? Yeah, I am so impressed. Shut up. Yeah, it's American no, it. Online. <laughs> Hell Shut yeah. up. Are you fucking bitch? <laughs> I'm the 90s people. queen. Then he's lying. No, are I'm, you fucking? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking with she you. Fucking. <laughs> That, no, you're not telling the truth. I swear. American to Online? Yes. <laughs> Think of what it was back then. Yeah, Americans American Online. online. <laughs> Hell yeah. Chatting. Excellent That's job. Wild. Americans mm. Online. Yep. American. It's Time America to Online. The rest of this. Remember like the old home computer? Like the regular, like dial up one computer. Yeah, I remember. But then like. Early times. Remember all the games we would play? Oh my God. Remember that pet shop game? Fucking love that goddamn game. And Freddy the Fish. The game, Freddy Fish. Mm -hmm. The Barbie Digital Makeover. The Barbie Dig Digital Makeover was my life. Good the one. construction one. Oh, yeah. Did you just play that Disney one, the Disney art thing? Yes. Just, yes. Oh, it was my like, God. Just, yeah. That just threw me back. That one used to always crash on my computer, though. So I got I pissed and stopped that playing one. it. Did you guys, um, have you guys ever watched Pen15 on Hulu? Penis? Yeah. No. But that's, oh, that's what it's called. It's called Pen15. No. And it's mm -mm. so fucking funny and like i feel like you guys i feel like you would you guys would all of you would love it because it's um it's like it's about these two girls in middle going to high school and just like their awkwardness of like mm. and like they're they're like actual adults but they're just playing kids you know what i mean right right it's really fucking good and i think it's um oh. two comedians i don't remember their names though but mm. it's really really I'll good i'll never forget P pen 15 club one time i was literally walking to the bus <laughs> in middle school and this random <laughs> comes up to me she's like you want to be part of the pen 15 club and i was like sure and she wrote it on my hand and i was like Woo, pen 15 club and i've then, never even heard of that what i completely missed that on pen 15 i just put it together now with that penis <laughs> she wrote it on my hand i thought i was so close like pen 15 club and then they were That's like so laughing funny. at me from a few like yards away and i was like mm. and then i didn't i like got on the bus for like what is that on your hand like you know what that stands for right and i was like no and they're like it's p-e-n-i-s and i was like <gasps> oh man oh no mm. god the little tricks honestly like that story that you just said is very much what pen 15 is pen 15 really? uh, mm -hmm. so funny yep are uh, you guys excited for the barbie movie this is random but is anyone out there gonna watch the barbie movie oh I yeah think it's gonna go big it's gonna look oh yeah i have it no looks fucking awesome is it live action yeah Oh, I, oh, dude! You no, gotta watch plastics. the trailer. <laughs> Just it's plastics. <laughs> mm. There's so many like little things in it. They all call each other Barbie. They all call each other Ken. Like they all have the same name. The outfits. Kate McKinnon's in it, and she's like the deranged Barbie who's like <laughs> hair is all cut and <laughs> oh, she has like yeah. crayon on her face. Oh my god, it's amazing! <laughs> but they haven't her. really given much of the plot. But yeah, in the in the intro, they have her like step out of her shoes, but her yes, feet stay the same. Like yeah, it looks oh, like really favorite. funny. Oh, that's funny. Oh, yeah, I'm excited I love for it. it. But I guess it's written from the minds of a child. So the dialogue is as if kids are like playing it through. Oh, like they all fly around, cool. fly oh. into their cars. Oh, shit. And yeah, it's just, it looks so good. I'm excited. Did you just watch anyway. any of the Barbie movies growing up? Like oh, yeah. Barbie on Swan Lake oh, or yeah. the Barbie Nutcracker? Barbie Rapunzel. Nut oh, the Nutcracker used to scare me. Oh, I love the Nutcracker. Like mice people. I didn't, I didn't like them. I was scared of that. <laughs> anyway. That's going to be a wrap for the sesh today. <laughs> it's been fun hanging out with you guys. Thank you guys for celebrating my birthday. I so appreciate it. You're welcome. Well, the real celebration will be on Friday. We're yeah. going to get lit. Yep. I'm going to get getting you so drunk. I'm, I'm just going to keep plastered. in mind, like, this is the last time. And tell me, I mean, that's the last time. <laughs> Jesus. But, like, how many other times do I want to be, like, shit faced? I mean, I feel like it's not a great look the older you get. It's totally. It's just kind of like, there's that. 40 year old <laughs> shit faced you know like <laughs> so i'm trying to go hard because i'll, I'll still be 29 that night true till midnight Until midnight then you're gonna lock it up lock it yeah. up ladies. party ends at midnight so lock it up, I'll sober up are you gonna go to the bars after no oh, we're I'm gonna go well, home and sleep no, it's already gonna we'll be like out. hard for me to get up like stay up till midnight oh my god go you to used to stay up till, like after two all the time i have to like clean up the place anyway <laughs> you're gonna clean up the place <laughs> i have to they like literally like you have to clean it up Wait, actually, what does that mean? Like, I have to take all my shit out, like all the decor. Oh, well, yeah, you got to take your decor. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll just leave it there and donate it. <laughs> anyway, that is going to be it for us today. This was a long episode. Thanks for hanging out with us. I know it went from like uh, absolute rage to um, fun times, but that's how it goes on this episode. That's I mean, right. Like sesh. Mix of emotions. You never know that's what you're going right. to get. Never really know. Anyways, thanks for hanging out with us, guys, and we'll see you on the next sesh. But until then, keep, keep it, it fresh. fresh.